Alrighty, so let's let's turn on some music and let's turn off dialogue because I'm going to be doing a lot of rock crafting. I don't think I want to hear I'll make a figurine of you a couple thousand times. I mean, maybe I do. But something tells me, even if I do, most of you don't. And I don't blame you at all. I'm just weird like that. But it does seem to be working. I think everything is set up correctly. Unfortunately, one very big downside is YouTube makes things way more complicated than they need sometimes. And so it took me a little bit to get everything set up. And good news, though, I'm pretty sure it's set up now. And in a couple hours, we'll find out if I did something wrong. So today, the plan is craft with Rog. I have a bunch of currencies, and I've been doing, well, a lot of logbooks. <laughs> More about that in a future video. For now, it's just going to be about Rog. I have a whole empty quad tab I cleaned out so I can put all the stuff in. If anyone's wondering, how do you price check stuff that you get from Rog? Yes, this is a live stream, so it's going to be quite long. In the case of today's, I'm aiming for about three and a half hours. We'll see. Might be a little less, might be a little more. But about three and a half hours. So how I handle pricing things from Rog. If I know that it's over three divines in value, I'll price check it manually and put it in this tab. If it's not over three divines, I put it in my three divine tab. When this tab's full, I vendor everything in here and I lower the prices on all the tabs and repeat. That way, you don't have to worry about price checking most of your items. So let's refresh this. I have no idea what was here. Ooh, Shah Green Gloves. That's a good base. That can roll some spell suppression. That can roll some attack speed. That's what you want. So reroll the suffixes. We've got attack speed and a bunch of junk. Yeah, let's reroll. Reroll X times, keeping the best outcome. One of the best crafts that you can do on Rog. T1 Dex, T2 Accuracy. All right, that's looking a little bit Omni. Reroll Prefixes. We got Life. Ooh, do we want to keep... Oh, whoops. Uh, slight misclick there. I think I'm going to skip here. My gut feeling is that the two suffixes and the Life are already good enough to sell. Add a prefix modifier, absolutely. I don't want to add another one. Upgrade the level, this is what we want. Is added. So if it hits anything but the cold res, we get a T1 affix. T1. Do I want to divine it? Yeah, sure, why not? Apply an incubator, I don't care about an incubator. And there you go. A decent pair of gloves with dex, accuracy, max life, Cold res. You're a deck stacker. You like them. You're an Omni build. You like them. They're not perfect. Pretty usable, though. Let's look through what else. In general, because the rerolls are so cheap and because I have so many of them, I'm going to be a little bit more discerning in terms of bases rather than currency. If I had a lot of currencies, which, I mean, I could just go buy or run logbooks if I run out of currencies, I'd be more discerning in terms of that. Oh, now that is a ring base. Reroll prefixes. Yes, give me damage. That is not damage. Here's a risk. So I could add a prefix, which means the item is worse unless it rolls a good prefix. Or I could skip, which might mean I have to take the item as is, which would be unfortunate. I think I'm going to take the risk, though. All right, easy. Apply a quality type. Sure. Upgrade the level of a single modifier. Don't hit the evasion, please. God damn it all. It hit the evasion. T1 rarity? Okay. I really want to upgrade the level of suffixes. I don't think I'm going to, though. Yeah, I'm not going to. 
but that's a lot of attributes. That's a lot of attributes. And it has an open prefix, and it has rarity, which isn't even terrible this league. Yeah, I'll take that. Can craft some life on it, can craft some wed, can craft some minus mana. Lots of good options. All right, let's look for a better base item here to roll on. Quivers can be really good. Unset rings can also be really good. I feel like you just roll all amethyst and unset rings regardless of value. So, reroll suffixes? Absolutely. Add a prefix modifier, reroll suffixes 10 times, best possible outcome. All right, we got int decks, not bad, not bad. We roll prefixes again. I'm really hoping for plus gems. A lot of builds use an unset because socket starvation is a thing. Ideally, what you want is plus two level of socketed gems. So you put an aura in your unset ring and get a ton of value from it. Unfortunately, I haven't hit that. Fortunately, all the other modifiers are decent. Do I want to add a prefix here? Not really. Also, that regen is trash. So, overall, unfortunately, I didn't get to fix the item, but it's probably usable. Historically, summoners have used unsets, but as socket pressure increases and there's more good things to put into your builds, really just anyone can use them. So that's one bad suffix, one good suffix, sure. Reroll prefix. Remove two modifiers of the lowest. Mmm, okay. Add a prefix three times, add a prefix, reroll prefixes. I'm not super happy with any of these prefixes. Add a prefix, sure. Um, no, that's garbage. This is not going to go well. Save me. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't go well. I needed to get rid of that reduced attribute requirement for it to be a good item, and that just never happened. T1 life. So all I want from this is good suffixes. The prefixes are already fine. Remove a single modifier, add a suffix, good. Recoup is good. I don't think you want recoup and mana regen though, unfortunately. Add a prefix, sure, I'll add a prefix. Reroll suffixes, here we go. We got recoup, fire damage, lightning res, but they're bad. So we try again. We got accuracy, which is not well rolled. Dex, which is well rolled. And mana regen, which almost nobody uses. I go again. And it got worse. You can't win them all. Is it sellable? Maybe. Not for a lot, though. Probably not worth it. Uh, 75 life. Sure. Let's see what I get here. Upgrade level T1 evasion. Not actually useless. Underrated mod. Add a suffix modifier. No, I'm not removing all prefixes. Add a suffix modifier. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Mana regen, not the best. T1 int, good. Fire res, okay. Life, good. Evasion, not terrible. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this as is because it's more likely to sell as is than if I change it further. That's the thing about Rog. You generate a lot of really decent items, even if they're not amazing. And this quiver... You know what? Quivers, you can kind of just YOLO them. Because they have so much potential if you just add a bunch of modifiers. No, I don't want to remove modifiers. This is a quiver. And let's see. Accuracy, stun duration. Nope. Don't want to remove. Sure. And now, this is why you YOLO your quivers. Because all it has to do is hit plus one arrow and it's instantly sellable. All it has to do is hit phases extra and it's probably sellable. This one didn't. Might still be sellable though. So let's drop these off. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? I have enough mediocre quivers clogging up my tabs. I'm just going to vendor it and go back to rolling. Titanium Spirit Shield's a good base. It's not a good Titanium Spirit Shield. I'm going to keep going. Quiver. Crit Multi is the only good thing here. So, Proj Speed, Cold Rise Chaos. That's actually not bad. That's a really nice defensive Quiver. Uh, I'm going to skip on rerolling suffixes for now. Damage with bows, Lightning Damage. Okay. 
fizz damage. Definitely not going to remove all suffixes or prefixes. I'm just going to take that as is. I have sold quivers like that for surprising amounts. Strength Dex Hybrid Base. Oh, I forgot to check the item level. 85. Aw, oh, can't hit T1. Oh, hello. This is absolutely worth taking the gamble on because it's already got Cruel and people do use Fizz Claws. So I don't want to reroll. Oh, Rog. God damn it. Well, that's very unfortunate because I wanted to keep the Cruel modifier. The first option would have removed it and the second option would have removed it. So... That's just dead. A jewel with global fizz, melee crit multi fire res. Yeah, let's go. Now, I want to keep the suffixes. I will reroll the prefixes. Uh, crit multi with lightning skills, melee crit multi. Sure. I'll take that and corrupt it for corrupted blood or really anything. Hybrid shield with decent suffixes already. Sure. No, I don't want to remove them. I'll add a prefix. I'll add a prefix. I don't really want to reroll the prefixes now. Those are actually decent prefixes. Yeah, upgrade. Hit a spell suppression. God damn it. Come on. You're supposed to hit a spell suppression here. Reroll. Uh, skip. Cool. Honestly, decent shield. Was hoping the spell suppression would be higher. This is kind of a gamble. Do I just reroll these? I'd need a lot of level ups to actually get that to anything useful. Sure. Mm, skip. Yeah, might as well. Probably improved it. But I don't think it's worth keeping now. Cold, strength, life regeneration rate. All right, that might be worth keeping, except what I really need is new prefixes. Ah. Uh, you know, that's potentially worth slamming later. Damage over time multiplier. Depends on what you're trying to make. For some things, absolutely yes. For other things, definitely not. So right now we've got life on it, but it's low tier. Lightning res, damage over time. There's nothing super good. Well, except for the anointment. Sanctuary is pretty good if I'm remembering correctly. So the goal is just going to be to get as many modifiers on the item as possible. And go from there. Oh, well now it has T1 life. So now it's significantly better. This is why I say you just get as many modifiers as possible. And take item. Didn't hit plus gems, but it's got strength. It's got lightning res. It's got a ton of life and it's got a usable anointment. I have sold a lot of items just like this one. For like 20 to 30 C. Hmm. This is a hybrid base, which is bad, but it already has suppress. So we're going to take a gamble. No, don't remove all suffixes. Sure, remove all prefixes. Upgrade, set quality, add a prefix, add a prefix. Mm. Not really good. Was hoping to hit life there. Uh, I don't want to add another prefix. Upgrade level, and I can craft life. T1 life regeneration, T1 suppress, and both are well rolled. Shame about the decks. I could easily see someone using that as a starter item, though. I think that's one big mistake that I see people go into ROG with, or just crafting in general. People have this idea that any item that isn't perfect is automatically trash. There are a lot of items that are not perfect and also not trash. Like this belt. It's got T2 wed. It's item level 86, so that can go to T1. It's got some life on it. And all it really needs is to fix the suffixes. That sort of helped, but they're not very good. There we go. Better. No, I don't want to reroll prefixes. I do want to upgrade prefixes. I don't want to remove prefixes. Reroll. Um, do I reroll again? I don't think so. And there's a lot of people who would be perfectly happy to buy that item. Because it's got a ton of strength on it. 
It's got a little bit of res. It's got some wed. You're a lightning strike build and you don't have your perseverance. Then it is super good. Oh, uh, let me see if on my end there's anything that it mentions. Uh... YouTube was being a little bit weird for me, which is why the stream got delayed. Right now, YouTube says everything's fine, but I'm not sure if I trust it because it was being weird earlier. Hey, I'm good. I'm just doing some rog crafting right now. And getting both lucky and unlucky, the usual. Okay, so Jewel's always pretty good. You don't want attack speed while dual wielding with mind damage. Those just don't work together. But uh, spell damage and minion damage. I thought it said mine. I was like, oh, spell damage and mind damage work. Yeah, not minion though. So let's try again. Totem life, cast speed of cold skills. Still bad. Mana regeneration and energy shield. Yeah, this jewel's not being cooperative. Fire is crit multi. There we go. There are some paired affixes. Crit multi with cold skills. Okay. There we go. It depends on how much money you have. But in a lot of cases, yeah. If you're already at good boots and you have usable prefixes, I'd just settle for that. If you want modifier values, sure. Uh, no, I don't want to remove prefixes. We roll modifiers, sure. The nice thing about jewels is if you corrupt them and they hit something good, they get way better. <laughs> Sounds about right. Do I? No, it's 85. It's always best to use 86 bases if you're doing anything risky here. Fire damage, attack speed. Attack speed on a fiend dagger. I don't think anyone uses daggers. If that was a claw, that'd be worth rolling. <laughs> yeah, you can't mention it. The game can hear you. Uh, Reroll suffixes, yes. Attack and cast speed, not terrible. Add a suffix, absolutely. Reroll prefixes, not very good. Reroll suffixes, damage over time intelligence. Reroll prefixes, mind damage, totem damage. Absolute mess. Uh, we roll suffix. Fire, lightning, strength, int, all super generic. So it's basically a three property jewel for any mind build or totem build. Yeah, cast on crit would not use this item though. It's a terrible base for actually attacking with. I tend to find that slink gloves are just super. So let's try something. Suppress dex fire res. Cool. Remove prefix. That's fine. No, I don't want to remove that. Uh, I will reroll it. Sure. That got better in a lot of ways. Add a prefix. That definitely got better. Add another prefix. That's fine. Upgrade. And I don't want to reroll prefixes. So T2 spell suppress some res and life. Yeah. Another jewel. Reroll suffixes. Increased ignite duration is actually very good, but very underrated. Attack and cast speed. Well, I'm not going to remove suffixes. Reduced mana cost. Do people play Warchief Totems? Because I feel like this is a lot of damage for a Warchief Totem build. Because they're probably non crit. I'm just going to assume someone plays Warchief Totems. It's 83, so I don't really care. This already has Suppress on it, but it would have to tear up a lot, and it's only 84. So I'm going to pass on that. I have plenty of rerolls. Something else to look out for on belts is Flask Mods. Chaos Res and Flask Mods are two things to generally look out for. At least in decent amounts. Or 30% move speed with an open prefix. Yes, you can, but because 86 doesn't actually matter for everything, it's not really worth doing. Oh, that isn't an open prefix. God damn it. All right. Uh, skip, because I don't want to... Yeah, I'll reroll it. 
Okay, that's really good. T1 Chaos Res. Add a suffix modifier. That's even better. Add a suffix modifier. Oh no! God damn it all! Uh. It can't have life on it unless I annul it. That's probably worth an Eldritch Annul, though. Because that's a 50 50. No, not a 50 50. What am I thinking? It's a 1 in 3 to brick, 2 in 3 to improve if I take off a prefix. Do I have something to do that with right now? I don't, right? I spent all my currency crafting. Uh, let's fix that. This is an important part of... Oh, look, scorched ground. I'm sure that makes it more usable. This is an important part of rod crafting or just crafting in general. Recognizing when you can improve an item. I should probably stop... Oh! I was gonna say, I should probably stop going slowly and just spam, but then someone answered. Perfect. Oh no, not a stack deck hoarder. I just happened to have done a bunch of logbooks. That was... something that I was gonna sell. All right. So evasion or rarity. If that comes off, we're good. If move speed comes off, we're sad. The rarity came off. We're good. That item has been massively improved. <laughs> so that's going to go in. That's going to go in. This really isn't... Like, you could Eldritch Craft this. But you'd have to hit a good prefix. I don't know. I'll put this over here in the I'll think about it category. Hey, nice. Welcome. I am currently doing some rod crafting. I just made these sweet boots. Originally, the prefixes were full. So I put on some Exarch influence and I annulled. I hit the low tier rarity. So now these are some very, very nice boots. And I'm just going to corrupt a bunch of these, because why not? None of these are good enough that I say, oh my god, I have to just sell it as is. And they could be improved. I say could be improved, as I immediately make all of them worse. Except for... No, that's definitely worse. This is the only one that didn't get worse. Oh, I'm going to craft life later. I'm just putting everything in a big old dump tab for now. No, I'll definitely craft life at a later date. I'm just uh, putting that work off for later me. Unless you mean for these, in which case the answer is... Because I don't know quite what I'm doing with them, if I'm doing anything with them. Because <laughs> those are kind of bad. Let's see, strength and int, good. Crit multi for two-handed weapons. People use two-handed weapons. Fire and cold, attack leech does life. Oh, okay. Uh, let's try rerolling this, actually. Damage and cast speed. I don't think that's quite... Life and damage with one-handed weapons. There we go. Now we've got a super usable jewel. This one I won't corrupt. Oh, yeah. It's just that that would require walking over to the crafting bench, and I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> I'm glad you found it helpful. That is always the goal. So this has got good, well, a good suffix, garbage prefixes. So let's see what we can do. Well, I don't want to reroll suffixes. Add a modifier. Cool. Add a modifier. Upgrade level, reforge sockets. I just want to reroll prefixes, ideally. Reroll prefixes. Come on, hit something good. It did not hit something good. Oh, well. That's uh, fine. Can always fix later with Eldritch Currency if it's worth it. I don't think it's really worth it here. 
It needed to hit just slightly better suffixes to be worth it. Hydra scale gauntlets. Hmm. Problem with hybrid bases is they're really tricky to roll. So I'm just going to keep going for now. I'm looking for 86 bows for plus two proj. Flasks applied to you have increased effect. That's a fairly rare mod. So let's try to go with this and see what we get. Uh, sure, remove two. We've got two flask modifiers now. Hey, welcome. Well, I guess you'll be looting something either way then. Flask mana recovery rate. Stun and blocks unfortunate. Skip, reroll values, add a suffix, sure. Uh, add a prefix, no. I'm just going to leave that to craft life. It's not a great double flask belt, but double flask belts can be worth a lot, especially if word loop is popular. And I actually, I don't know if word loop wants increased effect. I think word loop might want duration recovery. Either way, with a mana flask recovery rate, if someone's a Mind Over Matter build, this is a really awesome belt for them. It would be even more awesome if I'd hit something instead of a stun block, though. Anything else here? I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Flask charges gained. Uh, I don't really want to reroll these suffixes. If anything, I want to reroll the prefixes. Oh, well, it's not giving me a choice, so sure. Because this doesn't have any real value unless it gets better than it is. So I'm just going to try to... Uh, it didn't work. Gamba failed. Sometimes you take items and you know they're going to be good regardless, and sometimes you take them and you're like, YOLO. Mind damage, proj speed, area damage. I don't think there's anything that really uses all of those stats. But area damage proj speed works, and area damage mind damage, and even proj speed mind damage. All right, let's try this. Attack speed with axes, attack speed while dual wielding. Axes are not super popular. And it's probably going to be something like a cyclone build. But mm, cyclone often uses staff mace. Nah. Fire damaged swords. Okay. I don't want to remove. Yes, I do want to reroll. Chaos damage over time, proj speed, okay. Come on, let me reroll prefixes, yes. Axe is one-handed, no. Uh, attack speed with daggers, mind damage, chaos damage. I don't think proj speed works with this. I don't think the mind damage works either. Mm, attack speed with daggers, chaos damage over time, multiplier, proj speed might be cobra lash but I'm pretty sure most Cobra Lash builds use Claws. And that's one thing about crafting in PoE. The more you know about what builds use, the better. So if you know your own build, that's good. If you know other people's builds, that's great. For this, I'm ideally looking for damage with bows. And ideally, I'm just looking for full prefixes and suffixes. Let's see, crit strike with bows, fire res accuracy. That's pretty good. Uh, Eye of Winter Miner wouldn't really benefit from this jewel by that much. I've done a few streams on running logbooks before, yes. None super recently, though. I think the last ones were in 317. Uh, this is a Shield Crush Trickster. Fizz.multi. People still play Corrupting Fever. So can I get plus one Fizz gems here? Also, that's a lot of flat damages. Too bad the base is absolutely garbage. Well, no, I don't want to remove the one mod. Oh, I have to reroll it. All right. And it's bricked. That's what I get for doing risky stuff. Any of these worth rolling on? Oh, yeah. Jewels are worth rolling on. Yeah, Trickster's good. It does exactly what I expected. Uh, the only thing that's really changed is prices. So if I say something like Sun Logbooks cost 90C, right now, last I checked for like 50, 
So the thing that changes is whether you run a Sun Logbook or a Scythe Logbook. And that's just something that changes every league and all the time during the league. So crit chance and lightning damage, not bad, but not great. Area damage. Oh. I should know this. Does lightning conduit count as area damage? I don't think it does. I think it counts as single target damage in an area. Mm, I'm going to keep this. I think no reroll suffix again. I, God damn! I should not have done that. I made it way worse. Well, I should have just kept it. Reroll prefixes. Reroll prefixes. Not great so far. Add a suffix. Global crit multi and dex are good. Now can we get something else generic? Crit chance with fire. No. Reroll prefixes. Yes. Global fizz. Let's try again. Cast speed with fire skills, crit multi with lightning. So double crit multi. It has the AoE tag, but I believe it doesn't do area damage. Not every skill that has the AoE tag does area damage. <laughs> you mean the fractures? Oh, it's... Definitely nice. I don't think it's really going to ultimately matter that much. I think it's a nice to have, but not super important. Yes, exactly. Like, I think even... Does Herald of Purity have it? Mm, Herald of Purity is a bad example because they do a... Oh, they don't even have the tag. But yeah, auras are a perfect example where it is an area effect... And so you can scale the area of effect of how many shocked enemies are targeted, but I believe the damage itself actually single targets everything within the zone with a single lightning bolt. All right, so I don't want to reroll prefixes here because I've got the only prefix I care about. I will add a suffix, though. I will add a prefix. Maybe I shouldn't have. Come on. No, I don't want to remove. Reroll suffixes, yes. Oh, that didn't quite get there. 86 with GG suffixes already? Hell yeah. Upgrade. Damn it. I was hoping it would hit the life. I don't want to do this. Oh, no. My greed. The non-greedy option, by the way, was to add a prefix. Because now I lose all my good suffixes. I'm just going to take this and potentially Eldritch Craft it later. <laughs> yeah remote desktop for poe for trading is very good from what i hear i haven't really used it myself because i'm basically always at my computer <laughs> at least when i'm working uh let's see proj speed trap throwing speed those don't really go together uh no i don't want to remove i want to reroll Global accuracy damage with poison? Not terrible, actually. Reroll prefixes for something to do with poison. Global fizz, attack damage will do not quite. Fire damage, totem life, much worse. Um, Reroll prefixes again. Attack speed with swords, trap damage. I don't know, poison blade trap. Make it a thing. Hey, welcome. Reduced extra damage, armor, life. So that's hybrid. Okay. You know, I should buy it and just look. Reroll prefixes. I kind of don't want to reroll that. Add a prefix, yes. Add a prefix, sure. Reroll all suffixes. The tiers are low, sure. I think that improved. Uh, now I want to fix the prefixes. Let's go. Uh, nothing super good unfortunate could probably yolo and null that but i don't think there's a huge market for shields like that if this was on a good base 111 percent es would be definitely enough to make it worth it oh this could be fun upgrade add a suffix modifier remove a single modifier upgrade no i don't want to reroll no don't want to reroll I don't want to add a prefix. I want to take the item. Oh, welcome back. 
So here's where you do something fun. This belt has a terrible implicit, but it has good explicits. Let's fix that. Sadly, all we fixed was that Nava belt's just terrible. <laughs> this is going to go in my I don't know what to do with it pile. This is going to go in my YOLO corrupt because it's a quiver and it did not hit plus one gems or point blank or anything. Uh, this is in the probably have to craft on it. So later category, which of these are good enough to just use as is? <laughs> That's good enough to sell as is. This gets corrupted. Avoid being poisoned. Um, that's probably good enough to sell as is. That gets corrupted. That's good enough to sell as is. <laughs> Why would I care about alt shards? <laughs> uh, it is so much faster to just not deal with that. Hybrid base, 86. All right, 86 chess piece. You can get some neat stuff on these. Upgrade, sure. That's mostly just to skip the choice. That is not life. Let's try again. That is life. Low tier, though. Fill all empty modify. Uh, sure. Incubator. Gonna sell a bunch of spare scrap metal. Maybe I'll regret that later. We'll see. Reforge links. Yeah, that that didn't work out. Almost, though. If you hit something like Life Regen Chaos Res or Life Regen Spell Suppression, you can actually get some really nice items on chess pieces, especially evasion bases. Okay, so reroll choosing best. There we go. T2 Spell Suppression is very good. Everyone wants for spell suppression. And that's terrible. All right, let's try some reroll keeping best. Attack speed, also good. Upgrade level. I don't want to reroll now that it's good suffixes. I do want to fix the prefixes, though. Did I fix them? I think I fixed them. T1 attack speed. Decent res. Some rarity. Some lightning to attacks. That's a really solid pair of gloves. Oh, it's super easy to rod craft something that's worth six linking. That's not true at all. The cost to six link is only like 1.5 divines right now, I think. So if you hit T1 spell suppression and T1 chaos res, that alone is worth six linking. Never mind the fact that you could Ashling or Veiled Chaos for a prefix. This already has move speed. Uh, if it didn't have the stun block recovery, I think this would be worth crafting on. But it has the stun block recovery, so it's not. Yeah, those are lightning strike gloves. Fire damage, crit chance, yellow jewel. We roll. Fire and lightning fizz dot multi. All right. Now we want something for a corrupting fever gladiator. Attack speed will dual wielding. Uh, sure. Three mod Crypting Fever Gladiator item. Yeah, there's a lot of options there. Huh. This is an interesting one. Not very good, though. The bow's 85. Unset ring. Let's see how the unset ring goes. Reroll prefixes. T1 wed. Yes, the difference is the control. You have to basically... Oh, wait, that was pref... God damn it. I made a mistake there. I should not have done that. I should have skipped there. I have no idea if there is a guide for Flicker Strike. Uh, I, I really don't look at PoE guides because, in general, guides for Path of Exile teach you way too many bad habits. All right. I'm just going to YOLO a Null to try to fix my mistake here. I need to kill off the mana or evasion rating. And it's dead. Rip. All I had to do is hit skip and that might have been saved. But oh well. Uh, 
Let's corrupt this. The reason that I don't look at guides is just because there is so much garbage to wade through when you're looking at things that it's just not worth it. And in this case, when I say garbage, I don't even necessarily mean the guide itself is garbage, so much as the very concept of guides in a game like PoE is bad. Also, I've been totally autopilot crafting here and I've somehow made something usable. Uh, cool. Probably not good, though. Might sell for a few chaos. Let's see, reroll suffixes. Uh, add a prefix modifier, sure. Remove too. Generally, you don't want to remove too much, but I think that was worth it in this case. God damn it. That's not good. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Not going well enough. Uh, life accuracy, but it's split weirdly. No, thanks. Ooh, here we go. Bows fire an additional arrow. Easy mode. Well, no, I'm not going to remove that game. No, I'm not going to remove suffixes. Sure, I'll remove prefixes. Upgrade level. Add prefix modifier. All right. No, it's low tier. If that had hit high tier, we would have been in the money. And now what I do is I make it into a super GG item. But I didn't. Now it's just dead. Is it? Actually, no. It's probably usable. That's really good lightning damage. Uh, I think that's actually usable. Quivers are so hilarious. I haven't had that much luck with amulets. I've had a lot of luck with quivers, as you could probably tell. Uh, upgrade modifier, sure. Add a prefix modifier. Oh, okay. Uh, remove lowest. Add a suffix. Add a suffix. Reroll, reroll, reroll. Okay. I mean, 90% res on a quiver with some proj speed. I know a lot of people don't value proj speed. Proj speed is very often the best feel-good stat you can get for a bow skill. So it is absolutely worth considering. Uh, the fizz as extra chaos is generally bad to vol. Pretty much all the others are fine to vol. Unless, of course, you think the quiver itself is genuinely worth something already. We've got boots with T2 spell suppress, T1 lightning res. To add a suffix. Is that a prefix? Hope for life? Hell yeah. Upgrade modifiers? Didn't have a spell suppress, sadly. Depends on the time in the league, but quite often, yes. And there we go. We've got some spell suppression boots. You'll craft some move speed on that and be super happy. Could even slam it to try to get something a little risky. Could hit low tier move speed. Could also upgrade it. Mm, I kind of want to keep that reroll suffixes sure okay one good one bad add a suffix modifier too good add a prefix modifier uh it didn't come out good all right reroll prefix the goal is to try to get some good suffixes here i don't think the current ones are worth saving Hey, how's it going? All right. Well, that's good. Fill all empty slots. Upgrade to a highest T. Yeah, let's reroll. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Last minute save. Chaos res and spell suppression are a fairly unusual combo. Uh, either MS onslaught or MS can't be frozen. Not sure which would sell better right now. What I'd probably do, since I'm going to have multiple boosts, is just craft one of each. Some more boots. 
boots tend to go really well. Um, do I want to reroll these suffixes? I guess I probably have to. Very nice. That's a good shield. All right, reroll prefixes. Didn't help. Quality. I don't want to reroll suffixes. Add a suffix, sure. Reroll prefix. Upgrade level. We've got good suffixes, and we need to save the item again. So put that in, put that in, put this in. We are saving the item by annulling a prefix. If we annul the life, it is dead. I mean, in theory, if a finished item is worth enough, it's not dead because you could do a Veiled Chaos. But if you just never miss your nulls, your item is never dead. Just always hit your nulls chat. Best advice I can ever give you. Damage over time multiplier is good. Oh, this is also good because that's hybrid, isn't it? Yes, that is hybrid. Uh, that's a very weird question, Brian. Of course, it's possible to craft a five link for spectral shield throw. I don't really understand the question there. Add suffix modifier. I want to get rid of a suffix modifier, but sure. Good. That's a good suffix. Skip. Set quality. I don't want to reroll prefixes. I don't want to reroll suffixes. I don't want to fill slots. This is you craft life and you call it good enough. Or if you're really greedy, you annul a suffix and slam a new suffix and all that nonsense. But don't do that. Flask supplied to you with charge gain. Okay. Upgrade the level of two modifiers. Good. Add a suffix modifier. Ideally, it hits flask. Didn't. I don't think I want to fill slots. Oh, uh, but I have to now. Uh, I don't think this is worth that much as is, so I'm going to do this. Oh, no, I ruined it. Unless I get a remove lowest. No, I don't want to reroll suffixes. Well, that's probably ruined. It would have to hit some god tier implicit here. <laughs> it didn't. I don't know. Maybe someone will buy it. That's a... It's unusual enough that I'll just see, but it's probably... No, it's complete garbage. No one's buying that. Might as well roll some more boots. Add a prefix modifier. Okay, good. Quality to 20. Mm, not looking good. Nope. Not good enough. New quiver. Add a prefix modifier. Reroll suffixes. For quivers, really, most of the time, what you want is as many modifiers on the item as possible. And then just hit reroll constantly. And you get stuff like this, which is totally usable. Upgrade a single mod, except I'm going to reroll over it. Crit multi with bows, chaos res, lightning res is all decent, but I'm greedy. Okay, well, I guess I'm not quite that greedy. Ah, oh, there we go. We will modify our values of a single mod. Do I want to divine this? It's already pretty well divine. Never mind. So that is a quiver with okay damage and a ton of res on it. And this is a quiver with crit multi. Quivers are just so easy to roll into something. Ooh, it has armor and strength. All right. Upgrade. 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 No, I don't want to remove all suffixes. We roll, we roll. No, I don't want to remove prefixes. Early league, this would be a very, very good item. Uh, it depends on the bow build. So something like an Ellie bow build would often want damage on their quiver. But something like a poison bow build, if they're not using a super min-maxed quiver, might actually want defenses. 
And then you have things like Bow Herald of Agony that literally can't stack damage mods, so all they care about is res. So in some cases, the damage with bow skills won't actually be helpful, and the cold to attacks won't actually be helpful. Uh, also, Explosive Arrow Ignite often needs to run a defensive quiver because they have so much damage elsewhere on gear and doesn't get that much from their quiver offensively. So it depends on the build, but there's definitely some that use defensive quivers. Okay, crit multi while dual wielding attack speed with swords. I don't think I want to roll over those. I want to get... No, I don't want to remove. I'm just going to keep that. Because that's a lot of stats and some decent crit multi. Yep, no problem. That's the goal of his stream. So we've got okay suffixes here. Uh, a video for every possible build in PoE. How long would it be? It would never end. If I tried to make something like that... Oh, hello. That's really good. Yeah, if I tried to make a video for every possible build in PoE, I would never finish making it. Because by the time I finished, new builds would exist. That's a lot of rarity. T2, T1. Hmm. Do I reroll prefixes here? I think I have to. Oh, that's so bad. Hitting both leeched his life and mana. Let's try again. Ha-ha! Socketed gems. That's what we're talking about. Skip. Add a suffix? Sure. 50 dex, 50 int, rarity, socketed gems. That might be worth a nulling to try to get a prefix. It might be worth just selling as is. Yes, historical reasons. Because for a long time, rarity was kind of a junk filler mod that was, well, it existed to make your items worse. So uh, this stream's about learning. If you're gonna come in with a super negative attitude and just say everything's trash, then you're gonna get a timeout. And if you keep doing it, you're gonna get a ban. The entire point here is learning. Saying something is trash without ignoring why someone might use the item or the value the item has is entirely unproductive, unhelpful, and really terrible when a lot of new players are gonna be watching this and trying to learn why someone might want something. Yeah, if you know the fizz damage, you know what? Let's do it for science. Let's do it for science. Let's see if we destroy this ring or not. So if we hit the mana or the fizz damage, it's a really good item. If we hit the rarity, it's unfortunate but usable. If we hit the dex or int, it's unfortunate, but potentially usable. If we hit a plus two gems, we brick it. Okay, we hit the rarity. Now, let's see if I have the right beast. Because in the goal of learning, I think what I probably would have done normally is just sell it. But, oh, I don't have prefix to suffix. Okay, what I want to do is I want to take the prefix and turn it into a suffix. Because then... It could actually be very good. And prefix to suffix is... I forget if it's Ferric Wolf or Ferric Link, so I'm just going to buy both. I'll, I'll just buy a bunch of each. Assuming they answer. But yeah, there's been just an absurd amount of negativity, and to be completely honest, I'm tired of it. Uh, not quite. So, I can go back to that and it's the entire point of today's stream. So, this creates a six-link item. It does not six-link your existing item, and it is the Sakawine Vulture. Yeah, 
Rog makes great vanilla items, and sometimes you can even influence Slamba. So if I do this, kill it real quick. Random six link. This can be a weapon. This can be an armor. The item level will be based on the beast. Yep. And I have no idea if anyone cares about that. So that's just going to go in here. All right. So the person that has a bunch of beasts lifted, listed, not answering. So let's try again. Yeah, it's really cool. If you ever need a six link in SSF, you should always check your menagerie. Because I can never remember if the prefix is the wolf or not. Hmm. I think you can see God touched in the altar. It would have to be God touched originally, though. Not 100% sure. I know a lot of people care a ton about the God Touch stuff. I honestly don't. <laughs> I honestly think it's just whatever. Hopefully it will get some readjustment in the future, but... Yeah. Back to the Menagerie. And see if I bought the wrong one. But I have done some fossil crafting streams in the past. I might do some more in the future. Oh. Oh, this adds a prefix. All right. Beric, Lynx Alpha is what I wanted. Wow, it's so much cheaper, too. Yeah, PoE is very much a knowledge-based game. So once you learn how to do something, you don't really unlearn it. But if you don't learn how to do something the first time, very often it can feel like you lose progress. All right, now that I have the correct beast. Yep, even I learn things all the time. Like, which beast is which? Uh. <laughs> oh no. So we have a 66% chance to make this item way better. Oh, I'm standing in fire ground. Unfortunately, this build, while it's really good, doesn't quite deal the best with degens on the floor. We did it! <laughs> we put T1 Rarity back. <laughs> uh, so I annulled Rarity and put Rarity back. Hell yeah. You've just got to believe in the Rarity. And that is how you make a great item. I would not be surprised if it's sold for over a divine. I'm just going to put it in the three divine tab right now. Now, I should properly price check this. This is something where you actually price check it because it has actual value now. <laughs> Especially with Omni build still being a thing and with people actually valuing rarity. Um, Fossils come from Simulacrum, Delve, Rog, or not Rog, uh, Tujin, several sources. Ideally, this should just come from Delve. All right, and let me do something here. One moment. Okay, why is my browser capture not working? 
All right, let's just do this then. So level of socketed gems. I think it was dex. No, I'm going to do a weighted sum of 100. Dex, strength, and int. Put a weight of 1. Because if you're an Omni build, you don't actually care the specific attributes. Then maximum life, 50, and rarity of items found. So plus three. So overall, this is a better ring for one divine. Looks like as is. We're not super in luck in terms of multi divines here, but none of these are under a divine. This one's kind of similar. And you can also fix some of the attribute stuff. So I would say that this is worth a little bit under divine, but still well worth the time and effort to go through and to craft it. Uh, to answer the question that you're at 85% max all res, 90% chaos, you still get wrecked. Number one, elemental flasks. Yes, mine does have plus two instead of plus three. That's why I say it's about 100C. So, elemental flasks with less damage taken. I think I have a taste of hate around here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I never ID'd it. So, see how it says less cold damage taken? Something like that is very helpful in that case. Also, having a good recovery layer could be very helpful. Uh, okay, so when you say you wanted to make a 5 link spectral shield throw, you meant for clear on your shield crush character. I don't think you should do that because the problem with Spectral Shield Throw versus Shield Crush is it's going to require a different type of investment since one is a melee skill and the other is a projectile attack. I don't think it will really be safe or clear. Instead, I would work on your defenses because this character clears super safely despite just being Shield Crush. The way you'd have to do that, though, would be something like a Helmet with 30% more elemental damage rolled with Essence of Horror, or something like gloves with faster or slower projectiles. And do I have catalysts? I bet I have catalysts, yeah. Because you can also do this. And now someone's going to search this and see the 120 total stats and potentially buy it. And I'm just going to put it up for... I'm going to say 120, actually. But yeah, very solid craft. Not a perfect item. Well worth selling. And that is the power of Rog. Ooh. Plus one to level of all minion gems. I don't know if that is the max tier. So this is going to be a learning experience for me. Oh, well, never mind. Nothing to learn here. I think it requires 86, and I don't think this could actually get better. But also, Rog did not want that mod to exist. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, well. I think so, too. I'm pretty sure you're right, Dave. But I was going to just learn by seeing if it teared up. It's like, oh, if this hits 86, I'm good. Or if this hits 2, I'm good. I don't need 86. But I'm pretty sure I need 86. It is absolutely worth doing logbooks. And if you want to know more about the exact numbers, I'm going to be releasing a video on that soon. Okay, this item has a lot of potential. Mm, I don't think I want to reroll prefixes here. Reroll prefixes, remove suffixes. Uh, I think I'm just going to yellow and null and craft it. We've got, what, a one in three? 
Uh, I only use it for specific videos because I find webcams just overlaid on normal stuff to be very distracting, especially right now. Where would I have the webcam? If I have it here, it's going to overlap with tooltips when I do something like this or with my stash. If I have it over here, it's going to do something with like an item in my inventory. There's no place to put it on screen that's actually super easy. So in general, I only use it when I feel like it won't interfere. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, it's, I guess, kind of just a personal choice. That's always how I treated it. So when I'm doing something like reacting to a PoE live stream, probably going to have it from now on. If I'm doing something where I'm, well, actually just reacting in general, I'm probably going to have it. But for something like this, I feel like it's more of a distraction. All right. One in three. Oh, thank you. That's very good to know. And we did it. We improved the item. Wait, what do you mean by the Tujin loot table is broken? <laughs> Unless you mean broken as in insanely good, then I'm very confused. This is going to be too pre... Oh, no. The prefixes are so bad on this. And it's 84. Uh... I honestly should probably use more clickbait titles and thumbnails. I'm probably going to try to get into the habit of doing that a little bit more. The contents of a video, though, will still be the same as usual. The problem I run into is... People don't click the level-headed videos. People look for everything's on fire or I just made a million exalts. Oh, Danik's great. Hmm. I don't want to remove. Upgrade, sure. No, stop trying to get to remove. The goal of Quivers is always to add as many mods as possible. Um, Blind is a good defensive layer if you have evasion. If you don't have evasion, Blind is a terrible defensive layer. Stop trying to get me to remove stuff. God damn it, Rog. You had one job, and you failed at that job, and that job was to add all the modifiers to this item. So in terms of Danig and stuff... <laughs> yeah, exactly, Warl. <laughs> so... I recently did a bunch of logbooks, and I recorded a lot of my stuff. I'm not going to go into super detail yet, but what I will say is I had 412 burial medallions, and when I used those burial medallions, it took me about a half hour, and I made almost 14 divines just from the burial medallions. I then used all of the rerolls that I got from Tujin and added about 30 more divines. So Tujin is insanely profitable at the moment. However, Danig can enable Tujin to be even more profitable because it is very fast to use all of Danig's stuff. This is a good shield base. Wait, is it 85 or 86? Oh, it's 85. Damn it. Unfortunate. Oh, T1 life. Sure. No, no. Leave the prefixes alone. Reroll the suffixes. Fire res cast speed. I don't want to add a prefix modifier. I don't want to remove prefixes. This is honestly fine as is. Conjure. It's always conjure and never sorcerer. Suppress? Wait, is this 80? Oh, it's 85. But it's already got solid stuff. Let's try. No, don't reroll. Add a prefix. Uh, if we roll prefixes, that I made it worse. Remove a single mod. I'm still making it worse. Add a suffix. Yeah, I just made it very worse. That's okay, though. It was a long shot item. This could... This could be really good, actually. Uh, sure. Add a prefix. Don't add a second prefix. Reroll suffix. 
Suppresses good dex. Eh. Oh, I shouldn't have added a prefix there. I'm looking at chat again. Yeah, I ruined that. Oh, well. Crafting while reading chat. Not a skill I have mastered. So earlier the question was, when should you not corrupt a quiver? This is an example of when you should not corrupt a quiver. At least assuming if it hits any modifiers that are relevant to Fizz's extra chaos. Remove it too low. Sure. Okay. Okay. I think we hit some relevant mods there. <laughs> so this is good because a lot of people are playing self-cast builds right now. So it has a bunch of res on it, which is very generic, and it has T1 cast speed. And you can then craft either additional res or minus mana cost for a lightning conduit build. So I think in terms of running content you don't like to make currency, it's all about what are your goals. Because if you tell me, I need a mage blood to be happy in PoE. Ah, uh, yes, I could. I could do something like suffixes can't be changed plus Ashling. So if you say, I need a mage blood to be happy in PoE, I will say to you, get heisting or get running logbooks. And if you say, I hate those things, well, which is worse? Do you be or are you less happy from running heist or logbooks or are you less happy from not having a mage blood now if you were just saying hey i feel broken i want to make money completely different story then find something that's fun for you but if you have a specific goal you want to achieve and that goal is a fairly expensive item ultimately you probably have to accept that you either do something you don't like or don't get the expensive item and either one is okay to be honest you just have to be realistic with your goals and what you're going to do as long as you're realistic i'm fine with it uh so unfortunately the recent change to twitch does not actually fix any of the problems the recent change to twitch doesn't fix it because it doesn't let you multi-stream. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Yes, multi-stream like simultaneously to YouTube and Twitch. Oh yeah, the trading experience upgrades have been great. All right, so those are some pretty good suffixes, but I want to go full greed on this item. If you're in SSF, I would not do what I'm about to do. Don't click this button, chat. <laughs> never punished. Okay, never mind. Click that button every time, chat. Okay, I was slightly punished there. <laughs> Reroll prefixes? Did I fix it? I fixed it! <laughs> oh, that's so good! <laughs> what is this item? <laughs> the... <laughs> when I said don't click that button, I definitely meant click that button. <laughs> yeah, Twitch's policies are just... Super, super shitty. Okay. I can fix you missing the stream stuff at least almost 100% of a time, Nathan. Join my Discord and give yourself the notification role. My Discord will shout my stream out five minutes before I go live. I know that sometimes YouTube system is a bit bad. That's why I have a bot that announces it in a channel in Discord. Okay, uh, 
Gozo, I think you need a bit of a negativity break. So you can come back in five minutes and be a little bit more open-minded to learning and thinking about the game from a positive way rather than just being negative constantly. Oh, that's a nice item. That's a really nice item. Wait, that's my item. <laughs> okay, I, I say that it's not actually my item. It's just that I do have these, which I made <laughs> a similar way earlier that are very, very similar. Harvest or Expedition for self-crafting gear in SSF? Both. If you're in SSF, you don't want to constrain yourself to one thing. You want to use Harvest, Expedition, Fossils, and Essences for crafting your gear. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just so funny to me that I made that basically same item <laughs> before. All right, another quiver. Oh, this is another one that you might want to not corrupt. Remove a single... Sure. No, stop. Stop giving me removal. Okay. Uh, fill all empty. Yes. Reroll suffixes. Yes. Uh, I want to reroll suffixes again. Or potentially remove the fizz to attacks. I didn't get to. That's okay, though. It's probably not good. But sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Chaos dot multi project speed. Is anyone playing soul rend? Are there any soul rend enjoyers in chat? Not gonna reroll. Add a prefix modifier. All right. Add a prefix modifier. Damn it. Now I need to do some annulling. I mean, I've just upgraded everything to T one, basically. So reroll prefixes. Did I hit chaos gems? No, I did not. I hit mana. So what I need to do to make this at all sellable, I don't know if this is worth annulling. A lot of the items that I'm doing this on might not be worth annulling. But the whole point of this is a teaching stream. So 50-50 shot here. I could annul the mana, which just improves the item. I could annul the fire res, which just improves the item. And I could annul the lightning dispels, which basically improves it. The spell damage hybrid doesn't really hurt it. The chaos dot or prod speed kill it because Solrend wants those things. Good league starter for heist and then switch to expedition. Uh, poisonous concoction pathfinder because it's a very good league starter and a very all round build. And I removed a dead prefix. Toxic Rain can do expeditions. It's probably a little harder with the nerfs though. So um, potentially sellable actually. Axe Mace is even close to Paradox. I'm going to say no. I haven't theory crafted it, but my guess is it's really hard to beat Paradoxica. There are definitely times where it's better to just give up on an item. You've actually seen a couple in the stream so far, but usually it's when you've made a big mistake or you do something risky or you start like, let's say I started on this as a base. It's a big risk. I could get something good out of it. Kind of like that. And now I'm stuck in terms of, do I get to an open prefix by trying to remove the level of socketed gems? Or do I reroll entirely and go again? Because if I get to an open prefix, it's potentially an okay fizz claw if I can fix suffixes. So let's say I do this. Attribute requirements, that's garbage. Accuracy, light radius, that's garbage. Right. Mana regen, that's garbage. And so I didn't get to a give up point. I just didn't fix the item at all. And so it's a dead item. That was a very big risk, though. If you ever use the... Wait, what item? This? Okay. If you ever use the keeping prefixes... Or rerolling prefixes, sorry, not keeping prefixes. It will tend to hit plus gem levels on weapons. Which is not very good for claws. 
Doesn't mean you can't make a GG Ellie or Fizz Claw. I've made some pretty good ones before, but it means it's a little harder than it might be to roll something else. Not seeing anything here that super catches my attention, so let's just go again. I do not have a guide or screenshot of the Atlas nodes, and in fact, I do not advise that people copy my Atlas strategy. At least not unless you like buying a bunch of scarabs. So we've got Dexterity, Accuracy, Prodge Speed. Those are all okay. We've got Life, which is now T1 Cold to Attacks, which is now T1 Life. All right. Uh, damage over time to attacks. No. Why did you go with... Well, I guess mm, the crit's a problem there. I had a prefix, sure. That did not help anything. Upgrade modifiers. Upgrade modifier. That's definitely a corrupt. I kind of like rolling armor gloves this league. I don't want to remove. Set quality, add a suffix modifier, add a suffix modifier. Okay, um, I don't want to reroll those now. Upgrade level, upgrade level, upgrade level. I can fix that with Eldritch Crafting. It is very easy to fix this with Eldritch Crafting because the suffixes are good and the prefixes are garbage. So you just Exarch Influence, Eldritch Chaos, and, well, hope it wipes out most of the prefixes so you can craft life. Chaos Res is a very valuable stat. You die to Chaos Damage way more than you think. Yeah, you get a lot of okay items with Incursion Mods. It's definitely something that's helpful. Aw, oh, those are good suffixes, but they don't go for prefixes, and I like the prefixes more. See, Lightning, Proj, ES all go together. The Chaos.Multi doesn't, so I think we just yellow corrupt it. Yeah, and that's why Armor Gloves have been kind of coming into their own, I think. Because a lot of people are doing the same. All right, this is going to be full YOLO. We're upgrading tiers a lot, but not getting a very good item as a result. Recoup Chaos Res? Okay. Maybe I should have left an open prefix, because now I do have to risk the null. Let's find out. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea. So, 50-50 always hits. It's not a 50-50 if you hit every single a null. All right, that's dead. See, this is why you corrupt your random jewels, because now that is a sellable item. I don't know that so far, just go back to this tab here. So far, I don't think I've hit anything super, super amazing here. I don't really expect any of the items to sell for three divines, but I know I've hit multiple things that will sell for 20 to 90 chaos. I guess maybe the Corrupted Blood Jewel will sell for a couple divines. Because proj damage, maximum energy shield, lightning damage works pretty well. Hey, how's it going? Oh, absolutely. Corrupt all your jewels. And this is something that's really important to keep in mind. A lot of people will dismiss Rog because they don't see it make a GG item. Except sometimes it does. Uh, so what I do is, let's say this tab was full. I would change the price of this tab to 1.9 divines. This to 1.4. This to 0.9. This to 94C. This to 69C. Nice. This to 44, and this to 19, and I'd vendor everything in this tab, and then set it to three divines. Eye level for jewels does not matter, outside of the fact that to roll Corrupting Blood, you need something like 40. Actually, it might be higher than 40. Ooh, ooh, these are beautiful suffixes. Okay, so this is a jewel. 
This is worth using as is. Add a prefix modifier. Trap damage, not good. Add a prefix modifier. Minion damage, not good. Reroll prefixes, yes. Mind damage, still not good. Sadly, it didn't hit anything good. But if this hits life, this hits life. No, wait, no, it's so bad. Uh, okay, if we hit Corrupting Blood, someone will still buy it. We didn't. I don't think it's worth anything. <laughs> the dream is dead. There are no guarantees here. Also, you probably should not have slammed it like I did. Just, just saying. This looks usable. A lot of people look for plus gems on their amulet, but sometimes you can get away with just solid defensive stats. Add a suffix modifier, upgrade tier. Oh yeah, the exalt was total copium there. I think, mm, I don't actually know the pool for jewels well enough to know if that was copium or just a good idea. Because here's the thing, if it hits something good, then you win. Yeah, three mod for, no. Yeah, no, two mods still, unfortunately. Uh, Farshot Synergy with Spectral Helix. Farshot is calculated based on the distance the projectile travels from its origin point. Its origin point is you. So as it spirals out around you, that all counts for distance traveled. So even if an enemy is standing a little bit in front of you, your helix will travel all the way around and hit the enemy from the side, therefore enabling far shot very easily. Oh, I'm not rerolling this. What are you, crazy rog? That is a very good starter amulet for someone. Oh yeah, people take, especially crafting for profit, way too seriously. It's like, it's rug. I'm playing with pennies. I'm literally playing with pennies right now. And in Exalt, what, 15C? I've made way more from that. Yep, no problem. So damaging ailments, damage over time, dex int, all really good. But damaging ailments faster tends to be undervalued. So let's see what I can get instead. No, I don't want to reroll the suffixes. Remove prefixes, add a prefix modifier. Reroll prefixes, attack speed, okay. All good. Cold... No. God damn it. Okay. I'm just going to keep that. It's a two mod item. Or three mod item, sorry. Chaos damage, strength int all res. Well, luckily, strength int all res is super generic. Yeah, rog stuff in a 50c tab. Absolutely a good idea. No, I don't want to remove the suffixes. I don't want to remove them. I'm just going to take that as is and corrupt it. Sometimes it's worth it to just take items as they are and not worry about making it worse. And sometimes they're quivers and you go full YOLO. Add a prefix, upgrade the level, reroll suffixes, crit chance, proj speed, reroll suffixes, crit chance, crit multi, proj speed, add a prefix, uh, remove two, sure. I think I can craft and slam that. Slamming a prefix on a quiver. Mm, I don't know if it's even worth. I don't know. It's double crit though. I'll figure that out later. That might just be a dead item. I find them to be generally pretty sellable. Especially if it hits plus one arrow. If it hits plus one arrow, it's money. If it's anything else, I'd say generally sellable based on either having a lot of damage mods or a lot of defense mods. But if it has a mix of damage and defense, it generally doesn't sell. Because bow players are one of two extremes. They are either the all I need is damage type, or they are the I have an aura bot for my damage, all I need is defenses. Hmm. So if I remove either of these, that's fine. Speaking of all the damage mods. Oh, I've had a lot of success selling jewels. 
I mean, when I don't brick them, of course. Which is most of the time. Avoid bleeding, that adds value. Yeah, I don't think this is worth anything. This definitely is, though. Congrats! So, the reason this is worth something is because you can put a tax beat on it. Like so. Or, like so. And then, because it's got all the damage, we slam it and get nothing. <laughs> then put it up for sale. That's what you do with mediocre quivers like that. Well, it's a pretty good damage quiver, actually. Damage with swords, melee crit chance, recoup. Let's see. I really don't want to remove. Add a prefix, cold damage. No, stop telling me to remove. Yeah, reroll, I'll do. Cold dot multi, chaos res, cold... Uh, no, don't remove suffixes. Reroll prefixes. Nah, that just completely bricked. That's not even worth corrupting. Reroll suffixes. Double res, that's a good start. Add a suffix. Stun duration is bad, though. Double res, dex, but one res is bad. It's going to need to get better than that to sell. There we go. We've got some good prefixes. Reroll the suffixes ten times. Did it hit plus one arrow? No, it kind of bricked. I think, yes, rarity stuff is overpriced because a lot of people... Oh, that's garbage. A lot of people are sticking rarity on their builds randomly. When it doesn't really do all that much, depending on the content you're doing. It's often not the colors who are overvaluing rarity. It's everyone else. We roll prefixes. Speaking of rarity. Okay. Uh... I would really like to fix that accuracy roll, but I'm not going to. That's probably a 510c ring. Two good suffixes. Let's see where this goes from here. No, I don't want to remove suffixes. Stop telling me to... Okay. Uh, now I have to do this. Yeah, it's kind of... I mean, if you're using content to add a bunch of rares it's not all or nothing but like if you're doing logbooks rarity is going to do little to nothing for you <sighs> do i you know what i'm just going to yolo on this later i don't think it's a good idea but i'm going to do it shield life good at a prefix mod Add a suffix modifier. Yeah, that didn't end up working out. That's unfortunate. I was very greedy. I should not have been that greedy with it. Also, I should have waited for an 86, not an 85. So we've got life, a good prefix. Probably not going to end well, but can always try. Since, okay, it's getting definitively better. I don't want to remove two. Reroll suffixes is okay. That made it worse, unfortunately. That made it much worse. So where do you give up on an item? Here. What I needed on that shield was attack speed, spell suppression, high tier accuracy, chance to avoid ailments, max res. Yeah, I think this is where you give up on an item because it's just too mediocre. Maybe I could have saved it. Probably not, though. Cold dot multi. Cold dot multi is a rare roll. So if we can tear this up, that would be good. Add a prefix modifier. That did not help. Add a suffix modifier. That did help. Add a suffix modifier. That did not help. Nah. Didn't really work out. It is still tier 2 cold dot multi, though. And dot multi is a very low weight, so very rare. Hybrid base is bad, but item level 86 boots are good. 
Add a prefix modifier, yes. Add a suffix modifier. Upgrade the level. Upgrade the level. Uh, hopefully it removes life. It did. And it gave us nothing good. Unfortunately. Shield with max fire res, cold res, reduced extra. Okay, here we go. So for something like this, I was thinking cold dot. And it still could be good for cold dot. Just not great. So here we go. This. There we go. Look at those suffixes. Those suffixes are beautiful. Like you could just take this and craft life. And it's a good item for an RF build. Because it's got reduced extra damage from crits for nice defenses. It's got res and it's got max fire. Quality, sure. I don't want to add a prefix. I do want to reroll prefixes. I think that improved it. And I'm just going to take it as is. A lot of these shields are unfortunately item level 85. But shields can have a lot of really good modifiers on them. Like Chaos Res. No, I don't want to remove. Do I reroll this? Eh. Okay, it really didn't let me fix the suffixes, which is unfortunate. I don't think this sells for anything. Eh, it has Chaos Res, so maybe. Yeah, this could be worth metacrafting. 86 is, in general, the goal, but it depends on what you're trying to roll. For something like this, 84 is fine. For something like this, you'd want 86. Because I believe tier 1 spell suppression is 86. Although it could be 85. I could be remembering that wrong. So we've got life regen, which is okay. Avoid, which is pretty good. That's unfortunate. That dex is bad. Add a prefix modifier. This is... Nah... I mean, it's a lot of evasion. That's how you put it up for sale and you assume it never sells. Same with this. Those probably just get vendored, but they're just good enough that someone might buy it. Okay, let's... I'm curious. How good can I get this garbage item to be? Well, I say garbage because originally it was, but now it's not. <laughs> like, this is the thing about Rod. You can start with something that's bad, that's unremarkable in any way and now look at it someone would actually wear this and of course we go full greed because you've got to go full greed on this like it's a good item already someone would be happy to wear this it's a lot of res it's also life and es which is important for hybrid builds and it's armor which is defenses And it didn't get better, unfortunately. But it's still super, super useful. That's the sort of item that if you get it in SSF, you're going to struggle to replace it. If you get it in trade, probably worth, mm, I'm going to say, 20 to 30 C. Maybe a little bit more early league right now. Might sell for 20 still. Hard to say. If it had gotten a good implicit, though, it would have absolutely been worth something. So this has lightning damage on it. Lightning damage builds are popular right now. Catalysts cost too much for something like that. It would cost something like one divine to properly catalyze, and that's just not worth it, unfortunately. So I don't care about the suffixes at all. I just want the lightning damage, so it's a 25% chance here. Okay, I mean... Hey, welcome! T1 ES, it's not a great ES base, but it's still worth doing something with. I... How's it going, Snow? I don't want to fill all slots, and I don't want to reroll prefixes. So I think I just take this as is. I don't think it's quite good enough. But I'm not 100% sure. Because I don't know enough about what Lightning Conduit builds are actually wearing. Well, that's a lot of life. Well, no, I'm not going to remove prefixes. What are you, crazy, Rog? 
add a suffix modifier, add a suffix modifier, upgrade the level of your suffix modifiers. There we go. Decent item. Oh, I could synthesize this. So the best way to deal with pricing rog items and not worrying too much is to just use a dump tab, which I can talk about in just a minute. All right, so dot multi and life are good. So it's got two things we want. Add a suffix modifier, yes. Three things we want now. Add a suffix modifier. Do not reroll prefixes. Upgrade level, upgrade level. Apply an anointment. Okay. This is a very generic damage over time plus spell damage. If that cold to tax was removed, it would be way better because you could craft something like minus mana cost, but it works for an ignite build. You don't benefit from the spell damage, but it's still okay. Oh, no worries. It works for a cold dot build. It works for chaos dot build. It even works for things like corrupting fever. Very generic. After I do these next few, I will explain a little bit about dump tabs. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to roll these. So, yeah. So what I do is I just have a set of things like this. And when I'm not sure of what the price for something is, like this item here, I don't know really what it's worth. So I'm just going to put it in the three divine tab because I'm pretty sure it's not worth three divines. I'm pretty sure it's worth less than three divines. Oh no, I've messed up my tab. Oh no. And if it sells for three divines, then that's awesome. If I get messaged immediately, then I know that I underpriced it and I need to raise the price. But if I don't get messaged immediately, then once this tab fills up, which due to all the rug crafting that I've been doing is definitely gonna happen very quickly, I would vendor everything in this tab and I would lower all the prices so that this is the same and this becomes a new three divine tab. In fact, I've done enough rod crafting now that I can definitely go through and do that. So just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to put this in here. What else is a finished item that I don't do anything else to? Oh, this, this goes over here. Hey! Uh, what motivates me to keep playing? Making builds and exploring different mechanical interactions. So that, this needs a crafted mod, so I don't want to put this in yet. This doesn't. Not necessarily bots, but also players running live searches. Uh, you should not leave your 4C tab for months. You shouldn't leave any tab for months. So I filled this tab up. This tab is now full. And I'm just going to leave because this will update the site. Every time you zone, it forces updates on your tabs. Now I'm going to go do a little rod crafting and see if anyone messages for anything in this tab. Yeah, it's usually within five minutes and you'll usually get multiple messages very quickly. So like if I get a bunch of whispers right now, I don't think I'm in d, &D. I'm not. Then I'd know that something in that tab is underpriced. The goal is to never sell anything immediately from that tab. You either, let's say someone messages me for something in that tab tomorrow, totally fine. Uh, there are zero issues with drops. That's just completely false. And I mean, you can see from my history, I'm getting plenty of trades. It is also very easy to buy stuff. You roll prefixes. Movement speed? Hell yes. All right, I don't want to really... Oh, I have to add a prefix. Okay. That's fine. I can fix it later. If this is good. Mm, it's not really good. <laughs> yeah, I have played two builds so far. Oh, plenty of people buy Quivers with Resistances. That's not true at all. Oh, 
Ooh, fizz damage. Interesting. I mean, if you can't kill essences, you're probably running maps that are too high tier. If you ran 100 maps with Alcan Go with Wandering Path and didn't get anything, either you're not picking up the things that are worth selling, or your Atlas passes that are allocated are bad. I haven't used Wandering Path personally, so I don't know if it's actually particularly profitable or if it's just something people do for fun. Do you pick up everything that shows on your filter? Because it could be that you are leaving valuable things on the floor. Fire damage, attack speed with one-handed. I am running... I guess I'd call it Fizz Crit. It's a very weird type of shield crush. Fizz Crit Slayer. Or Trickster, goddammit. I've also made a Fizz Crit Slayer before, and I am confusing myself with my old builds. Okay. See, I haven't used Wandering Path, but that's very good information, Brandon. It sounds like the problem could be not investing into a strategy that requires investment. That stun duration's unfortunate, but if you volley and hit Corrupted Blood, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this feels a lot like Fizz Crit Shield Crush Slayer, except honestly tankier, except for very specific things because of how Emperor's Vigilance works. I'm going to kind of agree with chat, though, here, Philip. It sounds like you're kind of burnt out and just not enjoying your gameplay. Because the thing that you haven't mentioned so far is that you've been having fun. See if this becomes anything good. I don't think it will. Because I haven't upgraded the fire res. That's unfortunate. These are sorcerer boots. That's what, hybrid, ES, move speed, hmm. Most expensive thing that I've sold from rod crafting, I'm trying to remember if it was a bow or, a... it was either a bow or a ring. And it was worth 150 exalts last league. I don't remember which it was. I sold one for 150 and one for 120. The bow was plus two arrows with good Ellie damage. The ring was actually an influenced plus three unset with curse on hit, which was absolutely insane. <laughs> Average price for Rodcraft, I'm going to say around 50C is the average price. Yeah, so I think what I do here... No, I don't want to reroll prefixes. Upgrade level. Upgrade level. Reroll suffixes. Recharge rate, int, chaos res. There we go. Now we're talking... I think I keep that. Yeah, a non-influence bow for 150 because it had plus two arrows, which is an incredibly rare mod, especially when combined with good Ellie damage. So that went from meh item to probably very sellable. Yeah, six div. That sounds about right for some rod crafts. I don't think this is that good. I think this is much more in that 50C range. But I'm certainly not complaining. <laughs> Uh, if you have one Divine and 200C and you're in Tier 10 maps, I would suggest crafting something that is useful for your build, such as if you need a Curse on Hit Ring, getting Influenced Ring Bases and rolling them with Harvest Reforge Caster to try to get Curse on Hit and selling the spares for profit. But how you know what to roll is by playing a lot of different builds and practicing. Like, I know that... Attack wand builds like imbued wands. So I might want to choose to roll this because it has fizz damage. 
Uh, note, you shouldn't actually do this. This is a bad thing that I'm doing for the sake of example, because the fizz is too low. This would have to realistically be like tier three. But let's just pretend that it's good. And I'd want to try to get more fizz damage. All right, well, I hit T2 fire damage. That doesn't really help me. Now I have T1 fire damage. So it's not really helping me in terms of the modifiers that I got. But I started from an interesting place, and now I'm at a spot where I'm wondering, is this an item for a battle mage setup? The suffixes aren't very good for it, but we ended up with T3 fizz, increased fire damage, and flat fire damage. Yeah, a lot of profit crafting at two divines is risky. That's why I was suggesting the rings, because you can often get the influence rings very cheaply, and it only costs a few chaos for each reroll. And you're relatively likely to hit curse on hit very quickly. But yeah, a lot of... I mean, you could also just buy ROG logbooks because you'll profit off of running the logbooks in excess of what it costs you to buy them. No, it is not good. Well, I don't know how in demand something like Battle Mage or Spellslinger is. I suspect if it had good suffixes or plus one gems, it would actually be very good. But sadly, didn't quite come out right. All right, T1 attack speed. I think that's T1. Yeah, it is. We wrote prefixes? A good prefix and a bad prefix. I don't really want to... Oh, it's going to make me... Okay. Add a prefix, add a suffix. We roll prefixes again. We roll prefixes. It's just getting worse. The minute I skipped, that was a mistake. Suppress avoid. Yeah, no problem. Suppress avoid, very, very, very good combo. And how's it going, Lodador? Uh, I do not want to remove. Fill all empty, sure. I do not want to reroll. I want to upgrade, yes. Nope, no reroll. Yes, reroll prefix, good. Congrats! So if this hits suppression or avoid, we're good. If it hits life, we're okay. It hits suppression and avoid. This is a very solid filler item. It's not something you're going to go, oh my god, this is amazing. But it could do just enough to fix problems with your build. All right, this is just going to be for the base. Uh, global attack speed... I mean, it's possible. A lot of things are possible, though. Fill all empty modifiers, sure. We got very good suffixes, and I've kind of trapped myself by filling prefixes again, but I'm greedy. Uh, I can't guess it, Lodador, but I'm a little bit scared. Hmm, that's high tier attack speed. Oh, I figured I wouldn't like it. <laughs> Plus one to all fire with damage over time multiplier. RF wants to know your location. No, we don't reroll prefixes. Do we add a prefix here? I think we kind of have to. Spell damage. Okay. Um, Doriani's fist self chill. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like that at all. So this is less RF and more fire trap now. Upgrade the level of four modifiers. Upgrade the level. Reroll? Nah. Probably not great. Potentially usable. Oh, it's 83. I don't want to do 83 bases. That's just a little bit too bad. Oh! Amethyst rings. Super high potential. Just as a note, before you link a POB, just put the end code, not the full link, because YouTube likes to eat links, and there's a very good chance it will just eat your message if you put a link in. I have tried turning it off. Unfortunately, even when it is off, it eats links. And uh, do I want to add a prefix? No, I don't want to add a prefix, but I do want to add a suffix. Not quite good enough, I don't think. Let's 
Strength and Int base. Very good base for amulets. Level of all cold skills. There we go. Damage over time multiplier. Also very good. The crit, not as good. The lack of life, maybe not as good. But CI cold dot is a thing. And that might be a starter amulet for someone for like 19C. Yeah, I've noticed that, Dave. But now that you've mentioned it, if they come in, it's going to be your fault. Vile Arrow Quiver. Let's go for some attack mods. Suffix. Uh, remove single. Upgrade three. Reroll. Damage over time multiplier with bow skills. That's good. Upgrade the level. Didn't quite hit what I wanted. I was really hoping for chaos damage and damage with attacks, but... Titanium Spirit Shield. Item level 85. If it was 86, I'd roll it. Because you can get some really nice ES gear off of Rog that way. <laughs> All right, I won't look at it. This is just going to be a little bit of a gamble. Like, Chaos Res is good. Add a suffix modifier. Rarity is not great. Reroll the prefixes, sure. They were kind of bad. And I bricked it. Wait. That's one I don't want to keep, right? Yeah, that's one I don't want to keep. So I've been doing this for a couple of minutes. I've made a few more items. Some of them are good. Some of them are not. And I've gotten no pings. So now what I do is I just go through and I take all the stuff in this tab. And I just vendor it. We're going to rotate some dump tabs here. Oh, wait. Can no one else see the code? It's... P5Z3, I think that's an O, then dub, or sorry, capital P5Z3O, lowercase WD, capital KY, lowercase N, capital K0. Oh, there's a Venter's Gamble in here that didn't sell. I think I have a bunch of those now. Yeah, something fun that you can do if you get a bunch of bad Venter's Gambles. You can get a bad Venter's Gamble back. I should probably keep this. That's a fractured item. Because what I can do, what would I want to do? Reforged Life has a lot of variants. Reforged Chaos is either Chaos Damage or, uh, whatchamacallit, but it's a hundred. So like you use Reforged Life, you get things like Minion Life, Totem Life, Although that's almost good. Strength. Damage taken recouped. That's also almost good. Damage over time multiplier, damage over time multiplier. Kind of nice, but yeah, very high variance. This would be lower variance because there's only two options. Or three options, sorry. I forgot about the poison. Hmm. That's not too bad for a Bane build. But this is much more expensive, so much riskier. And as you can see, you're not super likely to hit anything good doing this. I don't think this is actually really all that worth it. If anything, I think I should be reforging... Oh, I don't know what, actually. Maybe life is the answer. This is a bad decision. You should not do it. 
because hitting three good mods with either of these reforges, that's probably why this ended up here. I did it like twice and I was like, it isn't worth it. Spell damage, chaos damage. You know what? Uh, I'm not going to sunk cost myself on this. This was not really worth it. But that's just going to go back in a higher sale tab to get forgotten about now that it's a reasonable item for Bane. Put the venters over here. Oh, I should definitely have corrupted this. 8% increased attack speed. Very nice. Yeah, Rog is generally worth doing. Is this 84? No, it's 82. Okay, that can just get deleted. Oh, right, this. That was a... It might have been sellable. I should probably corrupt the Eye of Innocence, too. I don't know why I didn't corrupt these uniques. I think I've had that shield for a very long time. That seems like a very early league item. No, oh, it's dead. So, I've emptied out this tab. This tab goes over here. Becomes... Divine Orb, three. Then this tab. And it doesn't have to be this pricing scheme. It can really be any price that you want. You just go through. Oh, nine. There we go. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Chaos Orb, 94. Chaos Orb, 69. Chaos Orb, 44. Chaos Orb, 19. And now I do this to resync all the prices so that people can see them. Oh, wrong thing. Back to dealing for items. Chaos damage over time multiplier on a wand. That is hybrid, isn't it? Oh, but it's a demon horn. If that was a good base for attacks, it would definitely be worth it. But it's not a good base for attacks. Upgrade the level of a mod, upgrade the level of two mods, reroll the mods. Res, res, projectile speed, add a prefix, reroll prefixes. Prefixes didn't really help much. Move to add a suffix modifier. Sadly, I don't think that helped. I think what you do here, because it didn't quite roll. Remember how I said all damage quiver? Good. All defense quiver? Good. Mix? Bad. If this hits plus one arrow, it's still worth it. Otherwise, it's, yeah, vendor trash. So I have made videos in the past on this, and this live stream will stay up as a VOD but I'm probably not going to make a specific video based off of the live stream. This is much more of a live learning kind of opportunity. Okay, Spinebow. Spinebow is a good bow base. An item level 86. Don't want to remove all. Sure, reforge. Uh, Reroll prefixes. Yes. Remember how I said it's very likely to hit bow gems? This is what I mean. All I want is good suffixes, though. And I did not get good suffixes. If the prefixes were better, it might be worth YOLO annulling. I don't think anyone buys it. I don't know. I'll deal with that later. Armor boots, item level 86. Also potentially very good. Because that movement speed can go all the way up to T1. Uh, sure. No, I don't want to remove. Upgrade the level. Apply a random incubator. Add a suffix modifier. Uh, sure, I'll reroll suffixes. I'm not super happy with them. And so now I'd need to do the Eldritch and Null to open up a prefix. But those are some really solid suffixes. T2, T2, T1. And T1 Chaos Res is very much in demand. 
Sadly, we didn't hit the 35 move speed that I was going for. Eh, it's fine though. It's an item that is reasonably easy to fix. I'm not liking the look of anything in here. So let's re-roll again. Uh, it's charges gained, but a junk suffix. That's unfortunate, because if that stun duration was something else, and that stun... Oh, it's two junk suffixes. Yeah, it's not worth it then. I mean, Armor Brand's a pretty solid thing to level with these days. Let's roll some more boots. Add a suffix modifier. Add a prefix modifier. Reroll prefix modifiers. Reroll suffix modifiers. Fail to hit what you want. And give up on the item. Uh, Armor Brand got nerfed and buffed. I don't think anyone buys this. I don't know. Maybe I don't delete that one. Alright. Is this... I think this is worth it. Because you could upgrade level, upgrade level, fill modifier slots, hit something decent. No, wait, hit garbage. Earlier someone asked, when do you give up on an item? This is when you give up on an item. It hit two bad modifiers. And it wasn't in a great spot to begin with. That is a lot of fire dot multi. Let's see if we can get something more conducive to fire damage. Plus three to fizz spell skills. Uh, add a suffix modifier. Do I reroll the suffixes because the fire dot multi is not super helpful here? Yes. Fire damage, mana regen, cold res, chaos damage. Those prefixes are really interesting. The suffixes are really bad. That's unfortunate. I don't know that anyone uses that. Staffs are super niche. But that could have been really good. Speaking of, could be really good. I think this is going to be just slightly below really good. But I could maybe put some good suffixes on it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the prefixes weren't selling it anyway, so let's ruin them. Okay. 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 I don't know that I've improved it. I don't know enough about the caster meta to know if something like this is something people would want right now. But I don't think so. See, damage over time on a two-handed mace. No one's going to be playing two-handed mace with that. All right, unset ring. Unset ring is generally well worth it. Let's add a prefix modifier. Reroll prefixes. Reroll prefixes and hit basically nothing. I don't think Omni is popular enough for that. In 317, that would have been a super easy to sell ring. Preparing things and actually investing is always the key to success with builds. We roll prefixes, spell damage, trap damage, we roll prefixes, we roll prefixes. So fire damage with chaos dot multi, that that doesn't work. Maximum mana attack speed. Yes on hit. Eh. It's probably bad regardless. Oh, Fizz Dot. Sure, let's try. Nah. It was a bad item to begin with, but it had a lot of potential to become very good very quickly. That's the thing about jewels. They can, doesn't matter how bad they start. 
they can become very good very quickly. Let's see if we hit any sort of interesting prefixes or suffixes, because T2 crit multi is pretty good. Okay. Upgrade? Like, it's not terrible. I'd really like the prefixes to be slightly better. Elemental focus. What does that do again? Oh, I can't see that in here? I'm gonna look at elemental... Where is Elemental Focus? I might be blind. Oh. Oh, that node. Yeah, it's not great, so let's try a different one. Fangs of a Viper. You know... I think Fangs of a Viper improved it. I also think it probably needs an annulment to sell. It's another 85 shield, but it's got solid suffixes already. And of course, it wants me to reroll them immediately. Okay, let's try. Uh, max Cold Res is good. Everything else I made worse, I think. Let's try again. Avoid T1. Dex T1. Okay. Okay. You roll prefixes. Sure. That definitely was a bad idea. Probably should have taken it when it had the open prefix and the hybrid mod. Oh no. You've been expelled. Or Crimes Against Oriath. That's an 86 helmet, but it's a bad base. So I don't think I wanna... T1 crit multi. Wait, is the rarity? Okay, good suffixes. Three good suffixes. Retribution? No, don't remove all suffixes. No, stop trying to remove all suffixes, goddammit. Uh, yes, reroll prefixes. Hmm. Interesting item. No, I don't want to remove. Fill empty, upgrade, reroll, lightning damage, eh. No one really buys the damage type suffixes. Let's see. 84? But they already have move speed, but the prefixes are full. Cast speed's good, the rest isn't. Shield of a Void, not quite good enough, I'd say. Uh, armor gloves, but they're 84. I'm pretty sure you need 85. Uh, Lightning Strike either wants flat Ellie damage or increased elemental damage with attack skills. If this was item level 86, it would be very worth it. Yep, it has been rod time. So far, we're doing pretty good. Lightning damage, crit multi, dex in. Well, crit multi, dex int is good. No, I don't want to reroll the suffixes. Add a prefix modifier. Attack speed of two-handed melee. I want one-handed. Sure, remove all prefixes. Crit multi with fire skills. Okay. Cool. Double crit multi jewel. Fire damage over time. Damage with bows in. Uh, reroll prefixes. Reroll prefixes. Oh, damaging ailments deals damage faster. Almost good. Fire damage, trap damage. Okay. That is a decent RF item because a lot of your damage comes from fire trap. Flask charges gain strength life. 
That's just unusual enough that it could be worth it. Flasks applied to you have increased effect. I'm going to skip. Okay, remove two. No, don't reroll. Add a prefix modifier, yes. Add a suffix modifier, yes. Upgrade level. Interesting item. Did not stick to what it had been originally. Ooh, chaos.multiwand. See if I can fix for prefixes. No, I don't want to remove suffixes. I do want to reroll prefixes. Spell damage is actually not bad. But I will reroll again because spell damage is fairly common. And I think I just bricked it. Yeah, I definitely just bricked it with that. I should have kept the spell damage, but I don't think spell damage alone at this point in the league is going to sell a weapon. Although it was an opal one, so maybe. Either way, uh, I can still technically annul it if spell damage was enough and just craft spell damage. I don't think it is. Amethyst string. Add a prefix modifier. Uh, no, I don't want to add another one. Reroll modifiers. No, I don't want to add a prefix. Upgrade level. Upgrade. Didn't quite end up the way I wanted. I was really hoping to reroll those suffixes. Armor gloves. Reroll suffixes. Life regeneration, life regen rarity. Mm. I don't know that that's quite worth it. Okay. Okay. That's better. No, I don't want to remove suffixes. I think that's a decent item. Not sure if it's quite sellable, though. But life per second and life regeneration rate is a combo that I've noticed sells decently commonly. Oh, those are good suffixes. Well, a good suffix, I should say. No, I don't want to remove it. Add a suffix modifier. Add a prefix modifier. No, I don't want to remove suffixes. Remove a bad prefix. Add a prefix. Stop trying to get me to reroll the suffixes. Hmm. Didn't really end up good. I guess in theory you could annul the cold, but I don't think anyone's going to buy that. So. Oh, well. Ellie foils are, I think, decently valuable. This is 85, not 86. If it was 86, it would have been worth rolling. So life, accuracy, strength, recoup. I think this is just reroll suffixes until profit. No, not prefixes, goddammit. Or just level all the suffixes up until profit. Now reroll suffixes. Definitely made it worse there. Don't think that's sellable now. Should have stuck with my initial plan. Let's see what Rog is offering. 83, 85. Ideally, 86s would be good. Ideally, Sork Gloves would be good. I still have so many rerolls, though. And, oh no, I'm out of exceptional order. Uh, okay, I, I fixed it. Uh, I should probably also buy some of these just because it doesn't matter. I have so many. I should pay a little bit more attention to the exceptionals that I use. Not quite good enough. A spirit shield, not quite good enough either. Suppress int 86. Okay. Mm. The safe bet would be to skip here, but I'm going to re-roll just in case. So far, I have been nothing but punished for it. Super punished. And yeah, that's another give up on the item. Marble amulets are somewhat hard to sell, but can sell for a lot of value. 
In that case, I was aiming for spell suppression or modifications to the prefixes. Okay, upgrade level. I don't want to remove suffixes because I have two very rare suffixes. Apply random anointment. Reroll prefixes, yes. And no, I don't want to remove all suffixes. I don't think it quite worked. I think I needed an open prefix there. But that was always an item that had a low chance of success. Here we go. Two suffixes, two prefixes. Uh, I don't want to add a prefix. I do want to reroll the prefixes. Add a suffix, yes. Upgrade the level, cool. Ideally, I'd like a better prefix than Fizz Leech. But this is a very good generic Fizz amulet that you can craft life on. So I'm not super unhappy with it. It's a lot of res, it's life regen, which is a really nice quality of life stat, and it's got good fist damage, so something like a Cyclone Slayer, probably really happy to play that right now. Maybe even a Bone Chatter Boy. Mm, this is a hybrid base, so this is a bad idea. No, I can't re-roll here. I want to upgrade. But it has too many... Yeah, see, it didn't upgrade the suppression, which is what I was concerned about happening. Single modifier. If it hits the suppression, maybe I'm... No, it's garbage regardless. It didn't upgrade when it needed to, unfortunately. But that's the thing about rod crafting. The currency is cheap and easy to get. So even if not everything works out, it's totally fine. And you can make some really good stuff nonetheless. Oh, easily. I've already profited tons. Because plenty of the other items are sellable, like this. That's a good question. Maybe I should roll some of the gold rings. All right, do I want to reroll prefixes? Yes. T2 lightning. I don't think I removed there. Do I reroll again? I don't think so. Okay. Really good boot base. High tier armor bases. I'm going to try re-rolling here. Add a prefix modifier. Upgrade level. I maybe should have kept the move speed. The problem is, I really want to do the re-roll. There we go. That's how you do it. Because the other nice thing about this is those are very good prefixes. Even if the suffixes aren't worth it right now, you can always recraft the suffixes with Eldritch Currency and end up with a very solid end result. Also, I missaw the icon. These are not a high tier armor base. These are a low tier armor base. But it's still an item level 86, 35% move speed boot. Yes, you can fracture essence mods with Harvest. Anything else here catch my eye? Nope, it doesn't. Hmm, Huber Circlet. Oh, uh, but it's... 85 is actually fine. It just doesn't have good enough mods to keep going. Because Virag, there's two ways to approach it. Rolling on something that's already good, or rolling on a base that's good. And it is generally more reliable to roll on an item that is already good than a base that's good. Like, this is a good base. But it's going to be very random whether I get anything or not. Strength, cold res, rarity. Not looking good. Remove a single modifier. You know? <laughs> I think that works in the current meta. That's a lot of rarity, at least. <laughs> and you can craft life or minus mana. 86. Also a good base. Also very, very risky. But not risky if you hit what you need. Well, I don't think I quite hit what I needed there. All right, I'll keep the prefixes. Reroll the suffixes. Keep the prefixes. Hmm. Not quite. The prefixes were good enough, but I needed to hit attack speed plus one arrow or something like that on the suffixes.
Jeweled foil with... That's just... Yeah. If that was hybrid fizz, maybe. But it's not. So it's not quite worth it. I'm just looking at base type, base item level, and mods on the item right now. Like this is a decent item as is. Decent generic ring. Bunch of T4 mods. Since it's offered me reroll 10 times keeping best, I'm going to try that. I don't think I improved it or made it worse. All right, now I've definitely improved it. Because now I can just upgrade levels. No, I don't want to reroll the prefixes. Now I take the item. And now I ended up with a very solid stat fixing ring with a lot of generic stats on it. Craft some minus mana cost and you're good to go. Something tells me that's about a 50 C ring. But right, gold ring. Let's try this out. Random quality type, attack modifiers, add a suffix, add a prefix. Everything on it is already bad, but I hit rarity. I need to fix those prefixes. Huh. Yeah, it's bad if I keep, so I'm just going to hope it gets better. And it got worse. I probably should only roll gold rings with okay stats on. Upgrade the level of two modifiers. Easy. So now I just want to add suffixes. No, I don't want to add a prefix. Hmm. That's a start of something. Yep, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. I was probably a little too greedy in removing modifiers there. I probably wanted to keep the mods and try to re-roll them as opposed to just replace them. Then again, there's a lot that you can do with 35% move speed and a really decent base because that's a mid-tier evasion base. Fizz dot multi spell damage, but really high int requirement. And corrupting fever gladiators generally don't have a ton of int. <laughs> yes, as a reminder, if you're enjoying the stream, you've gotten something out of it, do be sure to leave a like, as that helps out a lot. Thank you to Dave for the reminder, and have a good night. Note, I'm not going, Dave's going, just in case anyone was wondering. Uh... Let's see, spell suppress. Oh, wait, what item level is this? 85. Should still be good enough. I will remove prefixes here. I don't want to reroll suffixes. Upgrade level. T1 spell suppress. Add a prefix. Rarity. You know, I don't hate that right now. But I will reroll it in pursuit of life. Add a prefix. No. Reroll prefix. Yes. In pursuit of better life. That cold res was very, very stubborn. So there's a couple things to note. First, it doesn't cost you that much to rod craft, so don't be scared. Second of all, what sort of items do you think someone else will use? Or what sort of item would you use for your build? So I'm using armor gloves. I care about the armor base, and then I want things like res, chaos, res, attack speed. So something like this is an armor base. It has res and attributes, which are gen... <sighs> I guess with Omni, these are damage stats. I was going to say generally quality of life or requirements, but it's potentially damage too. So what I do is I buy this, and I don't want to reroll the suffixes. The suffixes are already good, but I want to get something like life as a prefix. And now I'm in an odd spot where I either have to reroll the suffixes, which I don't want to do, or take the item and be done because I did not want to add a third prefix because crafted prefixes are very valuable. That was the somewhat greedy approach rather than the balanced approach. I'm just going to take this and worry about it later because it may be that it's worth crafting with Eldritch Currency. It may also not be worth doing. I'll have to look into pricing a little bit. So evasion gloves. People like spell suppression. Hoping for something like spell suppression here. I mean, I hit it, but it's bad. So, I don't want to remove modifiers. I want to reroll suffixes, reroll prefixes. Not really hitting what I wanted. 
At this point, this is where you probably take it, and if it doesn't hit life, you just give up on the item. Because, like I mentioned a little bit ago, you either want a good base item to craft on, like the stats are already useful, or you want an item that is on a good base. And I'm a lot of these, like this, is an item on a good base. The stats are not good, so I need to make them good, which generally means rerolling prefixes, adding prefixes, leveling up modifiers. In this case, though, the leveling up isn't really helpful, so I needed to reroll prefixes or suffixes more, and Rog did not offer that. Item level 86 bow. Ah, go ahead and link it to me. So item level 86 bows are very hard to roll, but this is how you make a 100 divine item with Rog. Okay, uh, I don't want to remove. Add a suffix. Upgrade level. And nope, we did not make a 100 divine item here because we needed plus arrows. Let me see if there's anything that's a good item rather than a good base. Just for a point of comparison. Okay, nothing here. That's another base. This is another base. But I kind of want to roll this. Add a suffix modifier, add a suffix modifier, reroll the suffix modifiers. Okay, I'm kind of happy with the suffixes now. Prefixes, you want plus gems. That's the goal. Reroll, maybe I'll hit plus gems. I didn't. I don't think that's good. That's another base. That's another base. Right now, a lot of the things that Rog is offering are not generically good items. And so there's a lot of inherent risk to rolling them. But again, because the currency is cheap, it can often be worth doing. Like ideally here, I want something with plus one arrows. Oh, that's that stun duration is so unfortunate. That gets corrupted. I need to get rid of a mana regen for this to be good. Don't add a prefix modifier, add a suffix, reroll suffixes. Oh, attributes. I don't think attributes is what people want. Reroll prefixes. I mean, it's got wet on it at least. Add a prefix. Oh, oh, there we go. So, just gonna dump. Wait, no, not that. So, this is point nine divine. So, how much do I think this would be worth? Chaos res is good. Lightning damage is usually in low demand. T1ES is good, but doesn't synergize very well. Unfortunately, I don't know if anyone would buy that. Mostly because with the other mods you have, you really want life on it, unfortunately. But because it's a Crusader base on an Amethyst ring, what I would probably do is look up Amethyst Crusader bases and price it based on the base itself, not the mods. Because the mods didn't quite work out. Let's see if I hit plus one arrow on this. Nope. Goodbye, Quiver. You put up a valiant effort. All right, so I don't remove prefixes. I upgrade modifiers. Plus three gems. Hell yes. Yep, no problem. And here's where we get a genuinely good item. Add a suffix modifier. Mana regen is not the best, but you know, some people do use Chainbreaker. That is a five times T1 plus three socketed gems ring. And that is why you roll on good bases. 86. Huh. Is that a good enough base to roll on? Chests are hard. 
let's try it for science. I mean, that's a positive start. That's a really positive start. Because you want an open prefix. Come on, give me a good suffix. No? Okay. I guess don't give me a good suffix. If we were early league and I had clicked the link thing, that would have been very, very good. A 150 life, life regen 5 link. Really worth it early on. Uh, yes, if you have a Shaper Elder item... you do get both benefits. Oh yeah, these. Reduced mana cost of skills generally sells pretty efficiently. Oh, that's socketed lightning gems. If it was all lightning gems, I'd definitely roll on that. That's a destroyer regalia. It needs to evolve. Uh, you did not. That is just something that I do. <laughs> that is something I do every league. I'm always flask crafting. Hmm. I don't think I want to remove prefixes here. Upgrade level. Don't want to add a prefix either. Okay, now I have to to continue. No, I don't want to remove links. It didn't let me try to remove that bad suffix. That's an example of starting with a good item, though, as opposed to a good base. Let's see, global fizz, lightning, and cold? Sure. Damage with bleeding. No one's really playing bleed, though. Uh, attack speed crit multi. That's looking good. If I can get good suffixes, which I apparently can't. Yeah, fractured flask soon. Uh, Reroll prefixes. Yes. Fill. A little risky to fill all slots, but I'll do it because there's nothing else that this item has going on. Reroll prefixes. Sure. Still has nothing going on, unfortunately. Not going to use the currency on that, and I'm definitely not going to remove suffixes. So, that was just an item that ended poorly. I think this kind of ended poorly, too. I was using that for a bit on my Pathfinder. Very good if you have permanent uptime, by the way. <laughs> so, let me show you something then, because I bet I can change your mind really quickly. With good flasks, you can do stuff like this. This is my resistances with my flasks on, because I am a Pathfinder. This is my resistances without my flasks on. So I don't need resistances on gear. Because it's just on my flasks. Four gold flasks would not actually help you. You want one gold flask, but the effect is unique, so it will not stack. Alternatively, flasks on this character, which don't have permanent uptime, but do have quite good uptime. 30k, if I hit all my flasks, 44k. I go up to 44k armor and evasion, and my tooltip goes from 174 to almost 245. That is the power of flasks. That has two good suffixes. But could be better. Oh, wait, it's 83. God damn it. I should not have bought that item. Don't buy 83 rings, by the way. They can't roll T1 res. And it's absolutely not worth it unless it's already a good item.
86 boots. 86 boots are almost always worth it. Reroll suffixes. T1 spell suppress? Add a suffix modifier. Yes. Upgrade the level. Reroll prefixes. I'd really like to get rid of that stun block without getting rid of the other suffixes. Hmm. I don't think I should do this, but I'm going to. I don't know if that paid off or not. Hmm. That spirit shield is almost good. No, I don't want to reroll prefixes. Upgrade level, yes. Add a prefix modifier. T3 avoid spell block intelligence. I wonder if anyone uses that. That's a, I'm not sure if it was worth it or not. Oh. Wait, I forgot to check the item level. Uh, this is 85, so this we can upgrade. No, don't remove suffixes. Add a prefix. Don't add another. Okay, so this is the odd point where I remove one mod that I want to keep and one mod that I don't want to keep. I think the answer is that I do this. Add a prefix modifier. Add a suffix modifier. I think they'll leave poisonous concoction alone. Okay, well, we've got T2 rarity and T1 life. So I think that's decent. Hmm. That's not quite good enough. This isn't quite good enough. Not quite good enough. If it didn't have the global accuracy rating, which is super undervalued. By the way, if you ever want a really cheap ring that's good on an Omni build or something, look for one with global accuracy instead of flat, because for some reason, most people only buy the flat. I mean, in theory, they could always directly nerf it. But since there's no gauntlet, I think it's much less likely that they will. Because I don't think it was that overperforming at League Start. It was very good, but... Hmm, mana regen. I don't think mana regen... Alright, well, I've got some good mods on here. Yes, remove. Add a suffix modifier, reroll suffixes. Okay. No, I don't want to reroll prefixes. Add a suffix modifier. At this point, I just want to upgrade... And take my item to the bank. Um, Ice Spear gets overvalued because it has really high DPS and POB. It's not actually as good as it looks, though, because not all of the projectiles hit. But people like it because big number. Add a suffix mod. Oh, these suffixes are really good. Do I risk this? Yes, I think I risk this. Reroll, hit life. Yes. Upgrade the level of a modifier. Now that is a shield. That's a shield. 131 life. 45% res, T2 spell suppression, attack speed. And good evasion rating. This is why you rog craft, and it's on a 6% move speed base. Estimate the price. I'm going to say a couple divines. You know what? Let's not estimate the price. Instead, let's come over here and do this. Maximum life, 130. Oh, wait. Clicking is hard. I'm going to say 17 suppress. 
Let's just see what that is worth. All right, so that by itself isn't worth that much. But what about with the 14% attack speed? Okay, so this we're getting into the range, but mine's better. Arguably, this one's better. So maybe not a couple divines, maybe one divine. But I don't know. I have the move speed implicit. This one is slightly worse than mine. And this one is way better. And also probably overpriced. I don't think this is worth 35 divines. Yeah. So I think we're looking at around three to five divines for mine. Because technically mine is slightly better than this. But I'd, I'd probably underprice it and put mine up for 3.9. So that is a price check on that shield. And this is the thing about Rog. It seems like you hit nothing for a while and then you just hit something like this. Yep. And the rest of his stuff goes in my dump. So the reason that I did it that way is I was specifically looking while leaving certain categories out. Is Rog good for spell amulet crafting? Amulet crafting is kind of tough with Rog, but it can work. All right, remove a modifier. I, do I want to add a prefix? Yes. Upgrade level. Add a suffix modifier. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's so unfortunate. This is where Recombinators would save your item. Or I guess Annulment Orbs, because you want life, ideally. And it's kind of a, a not great chance. Let's, let's do a gamble. Hey, thank you very much. Welcome to becoming a channel supporter, K-Bar. Support from channel supporters very much helps with getting more streams like this because at the end of the day, <laughs> I never quite know when something is just me messing around and when something is content people find really valuable. I'm glad that you found this very valuable. That's always the goal. Yeah, low weight modifiers are kind of hard. But it does depend because some of them, due to how the reroll multiple times works, some can actually be significantly easier to hit than they would be via other means. If it's a low weight modifier with a high weight lower tier, then it's actually really easy to hit with Rog. How do you respec your Atlas passive tree? You know what? Before I do the gamble, the way you do it is you'd get refund passives. And just hit resp. Wait, uh, I can do this. So orbs of unmaking give you a refund point, and just refund passives, then something like this, and you'd respec. No, I don't want to apply. All right. So here we go. We have a one in three to improve it, a two in three to brick it, and we have. Pretty much bricked it. In theory, you could do prefix. Actually, prefix to suffix is cheap. Sure, let's try that. This is going to be a one in three. No, completing Maven Invitations does not give a full respec. It gives two respec points. All right. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> Unfortunate. I probably shouldn't have done the annulment. The odds of making that good were definitely not in my favor. But that is a, I will do it so you don't have to. 
Uh, I believe skill effect duration only applies to the additional reductions portion, not to the regen portion. But I could be remembering that wrong. Just looking through for an interesting item or base to craft. Oh, this is an interesting base to craft on. No, I don't want to reroll the prefix. Are you insane, Rog? Accuracy, rarity, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, add a prefix modifier, sure. No, god damn it, Rog. Sometimes it can be, yes. It would depend on the item. Oh, I'm so disappointed in you, Rog. You had one job. So this is an example of a low weight mod that is usually quite easy to roll with Rog relative to other crafting methods. Because the plus one to minion gems isn't that hard to get on an item. And then it's just a random chance to upgrade it. There's no waiting or tiering for plus one to level of a modifier. So that's something that is disproportionately easy to roll with Rog as opposed to other crafting methods. In this case, it didn't work out, but that's the thing. There usually aren't very many guarantees. You know what? Sure. It's a start. Double armor? Okay. Strength, fire res, lightning res. I kind of like the armor. I kind of like this just as is. Sure. Craft life on that. Someone might use it. Yeah, jug gloves. That didn't have a stun block. Hmm. Oh, it's 85. <clears throat> Flask duration, but life recovery rate doesn't help Ward Loop. Ward Loop will pay a lot for a good flask belt, even if it's not on a Stygian base. <clears throat> If you're a new player, I very much do not advise that you play standard. If you're looking for a good league starter in general, I would say that Poisonous Concoction Pathfinder was great. It served me very well at league start. Not that that's the only option, it's just the option that I played. And the nice thing about Poisonous Concoction Pathfinder, it works really well even in solo southbound. I don't think that's worth anything but I wasn't going to make it better. See if I can make this better. Remove a prefix. Upgrade level. Add a prefix. Upgrade level. Reroll suffixes. Reroll prefixes. Add a prefix. This is not going well. Yeah, it's... I am playing a Shield Crush Trickster. Oh, it's 83. Yeah, the problem with standard is everyone has a ton of money. Like, I can show you my stash right now, and it probably has more money than you would make in an entire league as a new player, and then some, and it would be less than one one hundredth of what a lot of standard players have. It's probably more like one one thousand. If this was 86, I would absolutely roll it. Quiver, damage over time multiplier. Accuracy, fire res, random influence type, yes. Damage with bow skills, add a prefix, fire damage. Um, I don't want to reroll the suffixes. Incubator, I think I need to reroll the prefixes here. Because I think I was supposed to not have fire damage to attacks. I don't remember if explosive arrow ballista for ignite does or doesn't use ee anymore i would not advise max roll i very much disagree with that every max roll guide that i have seen is something that i would not wish on any new player they're all go in with lots of salt and know where it's going to be wrong and that you need to fix it oh those are some good suffixes now i just need good prefixes remove a single modifier Okay. So, um, these are gloves. They are crafted with rug. 
I think they're a little bit okay. Lightning damage and lightning res doesn't really synergize. I'm kind of tired of rolling jewels. I probably should roll them, but... Reroll suffixes, crit multi. Yeah, builds that are super tanky. One thing I find that new players make as a mistake. A lot of new players will gravitate towards a high damage build. As opposed to a really tanky build. The problem with a high damage build is when you make mistakes, you often die. Whereas with a really tanky build, you can survive your mistakes and learn from them. Right, I don't want to remove two modifiers. Upgrade the levels, sure. Remove two modifiers. All right, this is where I will use this because that removes my worst suffix and my worst prefix. I don't want to add a prefix. I'll apply a random incubator. So the problem with the Maxwell Guides is every single one I have seen gets information wrong. The Poisonous Concoction one, for example, missed some very important aspects of how you play Poisonous Concoction. Admittedly, the ones I have seen, Poisonous Concoction, which I do not advise, and Lightning Arrow, which I very, very much do not advise. I have not seen the others, but given what was in the two that I saw, I would be very hesitant to... I mean, here's the problem. The more detailed the guide, the more likely you are to be tempted to try to copy it directly. And the minute you do that, you're just going to fail at PoE. You should never go into a guide with the intent to copy it directly. You should always go into a guide with, what can I learn from it? And how can I make my own version of this? And so that in itself is a big problem. But even with that aside, the thing that makes it a huge problem is the two builds that I saw guide-wise just leave out super important information about how to actually play the build they're talking about. And this is a... Well, that's exactly what I did when I talked about Poisonous Concoction. That is exactly what I do in all of my build showcases. I talk about the mechanics. Oh, something like a... Yeah, the problem with reviewing something live is then it gets into a bunch of drama and people are going to go bother the guide writers and it's just not worth it. What have I done? I've done something horribly wrong here. A death log would not help you at all. <laughs> if you had a death log, you would wonder, why did I take 300 instances of damage in the last second? If you want something that is better than a death log, set up NVIDIA Shadow Play, record 30 seconds of your gameplay whenever you die, and watch for replay. That's going to help 10 times more than any death log. Because for PoE to have a functional death log, the entire game would have to be recoded. And I just don't see GGG doing that. Like, they'd have to change how things like damage over time work. And I just... I suspect that would break more things than it fixes. <laughs> Yeah, and China's death log is basically useless. Yes, it is called NVIDIA Shadow Play. Oh, okay. I need to pay a little bit more attention to my crafting because I shouldn't have removed those modifiers. Uh, so what do you do now? You really need strength and dex? Are you a CI build or a life-based build? Yeah, 
Yeah, if nine times out of ten, your death is lag, unfortunately. Uh, that's an even a harder problem. I do wish that GGG would improve performance. Okay, your CI. That's a tough spot then. What I would actually do is I would roll them with dense... Oh... What you really want is an item level 84 base for Sorcerer Gloves, not an item level 81 base. So... I think what I would suggest is start over completely. Roll it with dense fossils until you're happy with the prefixes. Then craft the strength and dex as a suffix later. Okay, so this will remove the accuracy and one other mod. This either bricks this item or it makes it much better. It made it much better, but it's still not very good. Okay, now it's potentially usable. Filling the prefixes was not ideal there. That's the thing. Going in, no one knows how to set up a build. The way you learn that is not by following a guide. It's by A, being unafraid to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes and you're going to fail at things. That is okay. And B, looking at information from multiple sources. So let's say you really wanted to play Holy Flame Totem. I mean, if you killed Eater of Worlds... <laughs> And you tried Holy Flame Totem. It sounds like a complete success to me. I'm going to say that's a success. But let's say you wanted to play Holy Flame Totem. You would go to Pewee Ninja, and you would look at Holy Flame Totem builds on Pewee Ninja. You would go to the forums and look at guides on Holy Flame Totem. And you would look also at whether or not anyone on YouTube was making a guide for Holy Flame Totem. And you'd combine information from all of those sources and cross-reference. Uh, if I remember correctly, the problems with the Maxwell Guide, it didn't talk about projectile scaling interactions, and it didn't talk about flask sustain, and how you actually set your flasks up to properly self-sustain permanently. The projectile interactions part is a little bit more forgivable because it kind of just automatically works if you're a Pathfinder. The flask sustain stuff, less so, because it does not automatically work, and it is super important to the build. I don't know if that has been rectified since, though. Upgrade a mod, sure. All right, T1 wed. No, I don't want to add a prefix. Reroll suffixes, yes. Remove a bad suffix. Add a random quality, uh, reroll modifier values, add a suffix. Recoup's good. It's not good as is, though. That's unfortunate. I mean, even as an occultist, you need great flask sustain, but I'm pretty sure the one I saw was a Pathfinder. Again, though, I don't really want to get too much into the drama aspect. Hopefully it's fixed by now. But the only experiences that I have had so far being linked things from Max Roll were that this is something I would not trust to guide a new player in a positive direction. And so until I see more then I really can't recommend it. Upgrade a single mod, sure. Add a prefix, sure. Add an incubator, sure. Upgrade the tiers, upgrade the tiers. I'm sure someone's going to use this. There we go. That's a really good item. So at this point, I don't recommend guides. What I recommend is researching multiple sources, including guides, but also including 
just looking at actual characters on Piri Ninja. That there, there's this idea behind a guide that you should just follow the guide. I do not recommend doing that for anyone. And even if you're a completely new player and you don't know how the game works, what you want to look for is information that teaches you about it. So when you're going to a guide, you don't care about the items they have or the POB or the DPS or any of that. You care about the explaining why they're using this. And that's why it's so important to get multiple perspectives. And then you combine that with actual people's characters. Oh, yeah, if you filter builds by damage, you are going to give yourself a terrible time. That is not a good time, trust me. Because very often when people go for max damage, they're not making a good build. I'm going to put this over here because this is really good. This is really, really good. They're going for big damage number in POB, not good build in POE. I could have so much more damage on this character, but it would come at the cost of most of my defenses. And I would rather be tanky, and I would rather be able to make mistakes and survive those mistakes, than to have to kill everything before it kills me. And if you're a new player, you're not going to really have the choice. Ah, uh, good question. How about this? Okay, so let's do... We're getting near the end of a stream, but let's do a little bit of a live thing. Okay, so here I have Peary Ninja. And let's say I was going to look up Shield Crush. So I'd start with this. And I'd notice, all right, there's a lot of Berserkers, there's some Tricksters, there's some Slayers. This gives me a little bit of an idea of what ascendancy people are playing it on. I notice immediately General's Cry. Well, I'm not playing General's Cry, so I don't care about that. I'm going to eliminate all the General's Cry builds. Now here we go. Now here is a whole bunch of Shield Crush builds. And, you know, maybe I click the first one and I say, oh, well, this is super expensive. Also, they're wearing Abyssus, so their build is bad. They're going to just die. I don't want to die. So, Abyssus, out. Next one. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. He started a Sunder, and he's not playing Sunder anymore. So now I'm like, okay. Here we go. Crit multi-foil. But this is all expensive. So how do I fix the expensive part? Well, I could get rid of a crit, or... I could go back in time because people didn't have a ton of money on day three. Yep, that sounds exactly right. People do that all the time because they find it hilarious. So now I'm noticing we've got a very different selection. And now because we're at day three, maybe I find that day three is not quite good enough. So maybe I go to day five and I feel like, all right, the gear that positive melee player has. This is a lie. No melee player is positive, by the way. This looks realistic to me. If it looks like I can say, all right, I know I can get better than this, then I would maybe go to day six or seven. If I go, hmm, I don't think I can get this, I'd go back down to day two or three. Let's say I think I can do a little bit better than that. So here we go. And I really want to play a trickster. I'm not going to set it to only Trickster, though. Instead, I'm going to look at everything here, because I might get a good idea from someone who isn't a Trickster. It's like this, Poison Build. All right, so I can play a Poison Trickster. I might not have known that before looking at this. All right, I can do Shield Crush, Yoke of Suffering, Cold Conversion. Personally, I don't like this setup. I think this setup on League Start was very, very, very greedy and absolutely not worth it. That's why I'm a Fizz build. But hey, now I know it exists, and I can at least look at it. Then I can go look at something like this. And this is why the League Start Trickster version for Crit Cold Conversion isn't worth it. Because it's just so much better on an Inquisitor. And I can see that, alright, he's a little squishier, though. 
So if I want to be super tanky, maybe I want to stay trickster. If I want damage, maybe I go and quiz. And I just keep going down the list. There's Sunderman. Sunderman? He's crit, but I think he's fizz? This is a lot more like what I was doing, ultimately. And you can look at stuff like this and get an inspiration. You'll notice if you're going crit, you probably want Emperor's Vigilance. Bear's Girdle. Probably not super expensive. Very decent item for something like this. Maybe you look at a couple more tricksters. Maybe you say, well, what does someone look like if they're not using Emperor's Vigilance? Because I see a lot of people using it, but what if they're not? What's the option then? Maybe I look at this guy because he's a trickster. And early on, this is exactly the setup that I suggested that people play on League Start because it's a lot easier to get a precise technique non-crit build going than a crit build. And you're still very, very tanky. You don't have to worry about the block stuff for Emperor's Vigilance. And they even have Flesh and Flame for Soul Drinker because I bet it was super cheap. So they're getting the extra damage from Frenzy Charges, which you can sustain no problem. Since Feral's Fur. Maybe I want to look at an Inquisitor. Okay, I don't actually think I'd do this. But it's interesting. I'm slightly confused about the Leper's Alms. I guess it's just there. Maybe that's just how he deals with ailments. This is not something I would advise someone try for themselves. Pharaoh's Fur usually isn't that expensive. You'll also see Slayer. Slayer's really popular. And Slayer's really easy to get going as well. Probably even easier than Trickster, to be honest. You can look at what Slayers are doing. Okay, what's the Chieftain doing? Oh, he's just going full Giga Chad mode. He's going fire conversion. Who needs cold conversion? And with all that fizz taken as, his armor is incredibly effective. You might say, oh, 17k armor, that's not much. No, no, no. That's a ton with a build like this. Yep. And so that is what I would do in terms of researching something. Now let's get back to just a little bit more rod crafting. Eighty four, mm, not quite good enough. Ooh, all fire! Let's see if we can make an RF weapon. What do you think? Can we make an RF weapon? Oh well, not by doing that. We can't. Reroll suffixes, yes. Lightning damage, add a suffix. Attack speed, hmm. I don't want to add a prefix. Yeah, it very much comes over time. Crit chance for spells. No, I don't want to remove lowest. Oh, I can't skip. I don't think I made a good RF weapon there, unfortunately. It's just something that you learn over time. And the biggest thing, if you are a new player, that I would say is don't copy guides and don't be afraid to fail. That it's okay to reference a guide, but don't be afraid to make your own mistakes. When you do stuff like that, you will fail sometimes. But at the end of the day, you're also going to learn from that failure. I don't think this came out very good either. I feel like there's a second joke in there, Xander. But I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's socketed lightning gems. There used to be 
But unfortunately, no, there's no real guideline in terms of life, ES, armor, or evasion, because it depends on everything else your build is doing. So there could be a build with 4,000 life and capped spell suppression, high max res, crit immunity, maybe 40, 50,000 armor. Or no, maybe it has zero armor at all. And it's still super tanky because it has 100% of Fizz taken as Ellie. There could also be a build with 8k life or 12,000 ES that is super squishy because it doesn't have any other defenses. Hmm. Spell damage chance to avoid. This could be good if it gets upgraded. Unfortunately, over time, POB's EHP calculation has become less and less helpful. At this point, I just ignore it. Mm. At this point, it's just straight up useless, unfortunately. Ooh, T1 spell damage. Yes, the art is to find the sweet spot. And really, the only way I've found to do that is to die a few times. <laughs> yeah, it... Basically, if you tank something that you really feel like you should have been able to and you die, you probably need a little bit more defenses. If you, say, stand in a Shaper Slam on Uber Shaper and you die... The lesson there is probably that you shouldn't be standing in Uber Shaper Slams. Yeah, Unset Rings and Boots are very, very good. Speaking of Unset Rings. Not going to remove. Add a prefix. Upgrade level. Reroll suffixes. Reroll suffixes again. That's pretty good. Um, incubator. Modifier values. Cool. Cool. I think that's sellable. Boots, they're 84, which is okay. Quivers also get a decent bit of value. Yeah, it came out pretty good. Crit multi, dex. I don't want to remove. Okay, well, now I have to remove. Bow attacks fire. Hell yes. Add a prefix mod. Do not reroll suffixes. Add a prefix mod. I think that worked out. Add a prefix mod one more time, yes. What did it add? That is a whole lot of damage quiver. I specifically made this build to not die while being greedy on remnants, but there are a couple things I have to be careful of, such as monsters have 100% crit strike and hits can't be evaded. That is very bad for me. But it is bad as a result of my own choices, so if I die, I only really have myself to blame. Ooh, 100 life. Good prefixes. Let's fix up these suffixes. Dex cold res. No, I don't want to remove life. Wait, isn't this just sellable as is? I'm pretty sure that's just good enough as is. Because I can craft some res. Uh, yes. Plus one arrow will cause your ballista to fire two arrows. Which, if you are using barrage, is a damage gain. And if you're not using barrage, isn't really a damage gain, but it does make it easier for the ballista to hit the target, because ballistas are kind of really bad at aiming. And it will also help on clear. That's socketed fire. It's 84. That's 86 with all fire and fire to spells and fizz damage. One very unfortunate thing is you can't ever remove junk fizz damage mods from a weapon like this without destroying the value in the prefixes. Because it's the lowest level mod. Upgrade the level. I mean, it didn't come out good, but in theory, you could annul the fizz damage or something. 
I don't think it came out good, though. Hmm. Cold dot multi on a dagger. Not quite what we want. Let's take a gamble. We roll prefixes. We roll suffixes. We roll suffixes. Add a prefix. We roll prefixes. Add a prefix modifier. Upgrade level. Probably worth corrupting. Not very good as is, but not very bad either. All right. Big risk, big reward. I've never liked the glass cannon boss killer thing. It it just makes the game miserable. I guess, sure, if you're doing carries in TFT, but I'd rather spend three times as much on my boss killer and not be miserable while playing it. That went terribly. Yeah, I have noticed that bone rings don't seem to be an option. Last charges, oh, but it's stun threshold. Which, I don't know if that's a bug or not. Ooh, 86. How high can we take the suffixes here? Strength fire res? No, I don't want to reroll prefixes. No, I don't want to remove them. I guess I just consider that good. Oh, I'm going to need to make some space. So what I'm going to do with all this stuff, craft mods where applicable and just put them in dump tabs over the next couple of days. I tend to not do it all at once because that would overfill my dump tabs. So that's just what I do whenever I rod craft like this. And most of it will sell for about 50 chaos each. Some for more, some for less. Upgrade, add a suffix. I want to reroll suffixes. Yes, that did not help. Reroll prefixes. That did help. Reroll suffixes. Reroll suffixes. This is just not. Nah, that ended about what as I expected. It didn't have a good start. Let's see if I can get one more interesting thing. Reroll. Fire damage to attacks isn't terrible. I don't really want to remove suffixes. I don't really want to add another prefix. I want a crafted prefix. Reroll suffixes. It had a third res, maybe. So, because your suffixes are full, you can't block anything before you unveil at this point. You just have to hope. The only way you could block an unveil is if you Eldric influenced and then Eldric and nulled and hit the accuracy, which would be a 50 50. And then I think you'd want to actually block accuracy anyway. So you're probably just best. Mm, no, you'd want to block attack speed if focused. But in this case, best thing you can do is just unveil as is. And. Hopefully you hit it. Good luck. Congrats. Pee-wee has a learning curve. Don't ever be like, oh, I'm too new. Oh, this is just a good item as is. All right. Buy, take item. Thanks, Rog. All right. Get rid of this. And that is where I'm going to call it. If you've enjoyed, be sure to smack that like button. And be sure to share it with any friends who might be confused about how to rock craft. I've had quite a bit of fun. Been going over crafts, talking about crafting in general. And let's see. Hell yes. Congratulations. That is a very solid pair of gloves now. If you have any more question about rock crafting, join the Discord. If you want to support my channel directly, you can support me on Patreon. Or you can support me here on YouTube by becoming a channel member. And you can purchase either games or POEMTX through my Nexus. Special thanks to KBAR for joining the channel and helping to support streams just like this one.
For now, I'm going to get going, but if you want to watch something after this, I am going to be premiering a video on my second channel about an MMO that just keeps releasing itself and just keeps failing. Don't worry, the cycle is going to happen all over again, but this time, they're making it a play-to-earn game, so it's probably going to fail even faster. So stick around, and you should be redirected over to that after this, or if not, thanks for watching, and have a good night.